Ladies and gentlemen, warriors and monsters, what's going on? It's about that damn time. It's 2019, mm -hmm. and this is the first official episode of the No Frills podcast featuring IFC Ipes. And of course, to the right of me, Chris Matrix, you already know the people's commentator, the long awaited. My Twitter line has been ringing crazy. You guys should do a podcast. You guys should do a podcast, but here it is. This is a fact. Listen, uh, just like, just to touch up on my, what my beloved just said, you know, we got a lot of DMs, a lot of, I got a lot of Facebook messages, Instagram, you name it, especially the stream chat where we are NLBC or wherever we are invading your channels. Oh, yes. People are always asking for a podcast and here it is. And um, this is no frills. Basically, you get the raw and uncut from the road dogs. Yeah. You Absolutely. already know what time it is. You know, sometimes in this world of, uh, Esports, we kind of don't, we tend not to actually uh, spread our wings how we really want to. You know what I mean? This is no disrespect to the world of esports. I know they got some IPs to cover. And, you know, I know there's kids watching, but uh, I don't think this is going to be too kids friendly. You know Listen, so the filter's off. Filter's right. off. Straight grassroots, straight organic, right back to Chinatown for arcade days. Uh. Straight raw. This is where it all originated. We're getting right back to that. So y'all wanted the unfiltered word from the road dogs. We giving it to you straight how it is like that we here. Facts. And of course, uh, just to touch up on what's going to be happening in this podcast, basically, obviously we come from the FGC side of things. So we'll be talking a lot of gaming. Uh, Pertain to this episode, yes, we will be talking a little bit more about the gaming side, but just, you know, just to fill your in, that this is the first episode, you know what I mean? I know my man Jeff is watching at the back like, wow, it's finally happening. Ruby's, Ruby's like, was finally happening. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, it's here, though. You know what I mean? It took, it took a while, a lot of scheduling involved, but we are here and we are blessed. But yeah, just to touch up, no frills, FGC, holla, gaming, and sports. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are we going to talk We're going to talk about any and everything. There is no topic that is... 100% taboo. I'm not going to Well, there say you it. go. Well, there you go. Let's say exactly. I don't even need to explain. There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's about everything and everything. Anything and everything. But yeah, just to touch up, I mean, uh, you know, we had a lovely 2018. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Fighters came in the mix really put a lot of things together. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, bring a lot of communities together. And, you know, it, it made up a lot of stories, a lot of arcs, a lot of sagas. It bring out a lot of characters. And, you know, Right now, I feel like it's the main game alongside like Tekken, of course, and Street right. Fighter. But it's like one of the main games, one of the main staples. And Smash Brothers. Let me not disrespect Smash. They like top of the food chain right now. Listen, so. Dragon Ball Fighters was the LeBron James of fighting games. It lived up to all the hype. You gonna give him that? Oh yeah, because you know what? I remember all the memes of talking about Dragon Ball Fighters was gonna crush Marvel, and sad to say, it did. Okay. It did. You know what I mean? I never look. I'm the type of person. All right, we we, we unfiltered, right? Yeah. Like that, it, it, it killed it. It definitely smoked Marvel. Yeah, the, the Marvel, Marvel's got kind of infinite. Infinite, yeah. It definitely smoked it. I mean, what more is to say? Look, and I mean, everybody with a with a with a logical mind state will kind of agree. And this is no disrespect to Marvel. It's just dog. It's Dragon Ball. Exactly. Like, like I woke up with you know hands on my nuts and a bubble in my mouth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord. Watching some freaking Dragon Ball, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And you, right. you know what it did? It brought together so many different communities. That's why to find common ground anime game versus game it had a lot of marvel feel to it you know what i mean a lot of fast-paced action everything like that that each side can just definitely feel so that game lived up to the hype straight lebron james i'm ready for season two i know I, I dropped off the end of season one because they had my man team going out doing squats out here for no reason 10 frames recovery yeah he's, he's frames, still frames. out here doing squats shout out to ben i name because you know y'all need to change that he's still out here doing squats for no reason i like the character was cheap she that ain't yeah, worth they, for you. That they, ain't worth, and they, they gave you the song. They yo, gave me the they song. Tried the mask, they gave me the song. And they tried the mask. And I'm like, yo, I'm happy about the song, but damn. Got my man sitting in it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, Team Gohan is dead. That's what you're trying to say. <laughs> it's all right. First off, let, let me tell you something. Just to, just to give you a little bit of a uh, lore. Me and Chris Matrix and Dominion was playing the game religiously every oh, single day. I'm talking about On I wake up. Matrix, Matrix Hollow me, he's like, yo, we're coming through. I was like, I, I pretty much vice versa. I told him and Dominion, we're coming through. Everything was Gucci until that patch came on, and I did not see Dominion and Chris <laughs> Matrix anywhere on the scene. They literally <laughs> left me in World Tournament Arena by myself. That's yo, a shout fact. Shout out to my man Dominion. My man, man Dominion, yo, that, yo, yo the, the, the patch was, was so bad. Check this out, though. The nerf was so bad, it got him contemplating life afterwards. My man went, started doing Uber Eats. Started getting his yo, paper up. He's like, yo, I'm done. Listen, Kev turned it. The, he went from Dominion on Twitter to casual Kev. He literally changed his whole demeanor. He is now casual Kev. Shout out to him. He said he's coming back in April. But, yo, listen. 
cab ain't nothing changed over here, man. I'm sorry, man. We still out here doing squats, but you know what? Yipes ain't got nerves too, so I don't feel so bad about it. He yeah, my mind's on TOD no more. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mm-hmm. mad at it. For those that are wondering, my team is Android 18, Cell, uh, TN, of course, mm-hmm. third eye open. No, no more shotguns. It's cool. I take it. Don't worry. But you know what's the beautiful thing about fighting games? You have variety. Yeah, you know. So I'm, you can always switch up. Use Lincoln Five Supers, though. I, I hear you. I, I, yeah. I ain't knocking it. Yeah, you miss it. You miss it. Not even. Yeah, you do. You do. I actually don't. I, yes, you I, do. Yes, no, no, you no, do. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm going to tell you why I don't miss it right now. I'm going to tell you why I don't miss it. I didn't fight in an actual match yet after the patch. <laughs> okay, okay. So let me, feel, <laughs> let me feel it. Let me feel it. And then I'll get back to you on that. But right now, and it's a no. No, I don't miss it. I don't All miss it. Right. All right? So we good. All right. Anyway, just to t- touch up on the topic, of course, we're talking about Dragon Ball Fighters. Let's talk about just the beginning of the game, man. I mean, you know. We was one of the first to actually bring the game in when it comes to the local side of things at NLBC. Shout out to NLBC, Team Spooky, Henry Sen, everybody that goes over there. You already know what time it is. I don't even got to say the names, mm-hmm. but that's pretty much what bring the Road Dogs back together. Absolutely. And pretty much uh, made us enjoy this game that we just grew up with. And you know, this game resonates with us just off the simple fact, obviously it's 3v3, knowing me and Chris Matrix. Uh, my road dog, we play Marvel 2, of course. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely has some essence Greatest of Marvel game 2. Ever. And that's a fact. And the fact that it's Dragon Ball characters, I can't stress it enough that there's Dragon Ball characters. Look, this is what I said about the engine. Let's say if it was just forks and knives fighting, and right. it was that engine, that would definitely not catch my eyes. But the fact that y'all got Dragon Ball characters behind it is, is crazy. Exactly. Okay. And it, it, it gives us a chance to, you know what I mean, relive those anime days and actually have a competitive Dragon Ball fighter. You know what I mean? Like, there was other Dragon Ball games. Like, my personal favorite was uh, Dragon Ball Z Legends because I just like the freedom that you had around the screen even though, okay. you, you know, everybody's moves wasn't so unique. But I did like Dragon Ball Legends with the whole power balance thing and everything like that. But now, we have a competitive fighter that people take seriously. Facts. You know what I mean? It's, it's on a big stage and it's just ridiculous. It's oppressive. Oh yeah, Oh, yeah, it's oppressive. But you know what? Dragon Ball lore is oppressive. That's how the game is. You don't see people playing keyboard. You know, they chuck and key sometimes, but it's pretty much in your face action, straight rush down, and that's what the game is about right now. So, I mean, did it replace Marvel for me? No, but it definitely did a good job of uh filling a void that was missing there. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I did play Marvel 3 with high hopes. You know what I mean? Then I, I played Ultimate. With high hopes, I gave it another chance. I gave it a legit chance. We I was coming to 45 there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I gave it a good chance, you know what I mean? And then, like, when that game let me down, I was like, ah. I started playing Street Fighter, bro. I was playing at the end of Street Fighter 4, and I was playing Street Fighter 5, season 1. And I said, I'm just going to play this until Injustice 2 comes out. Mm-hmm. Then Injustice 2 came out, and uh, Bum can attest that I was at his house. I played all night, and then I got bummed out because I left my stick on top of my car, and I drove away with it. Oh, yeah, oh, I yes. remember that, dog. I'm on, I'm on a Bronx River. I'm, I remember I'm, I'm that. I'm jumping onto the Bronx River. I hit the corner, and all I hear is, <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm like, damn, what the hell was that? I'm like, okay. Mm, I get to the crib. I'm like, yo, where's my stick? I said, that's what that was. <laughs> yo, and that stick cost 250 bro. Pop, 250 yeah, That was the um the T2 Plus, the, the one with Ryu on it. The only stick that I was like, okay, I, I could deal with this, you know what I mean? Because I came from a, a time with uh, P360s and my sticks and all of that. So, damn, you ain't even give Bruce a chance. No. He, he he got a chance that first night, and I was in there. Me and Bum and Injustice 1, me and Bum played religious. We had Batman Bane Wars. That game was so much fun to me, man. So much fun. I, I even went to tournaments. Went to random tournaments with Mike Infinite, random Microsoft tournaments for him. You know what I mean? But, so I stopped playing that because I didn't have no stick. And then I said, ah, right, you know what? Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom F, and I'm back in there. The game dropped. I, I don't know why exactly I didn't get into it too much. I think because I still didn't have a stick. Because I wanted no, that no, exact I'm gonna same tell stick. you. I'm going to tell you what it was. You was playing Marvel 2. No, but I wasn't against Infinite. No, you wasn't. I but bought the, fact, the game. No, I hear you. I, I didn't have a stick. That's what I'm telling you. I didn't have a stick. Mm-hmm, yeah, I didn't no. get a stick until Dragon Ball Fighters. actually. Mike I mean, Inf- shout out to Mike Infinite. He he gave me a link to get my same stick again. And that's the only reason I started playing again. I didn't have a stick. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. But you were still playing Marvel 2? Of course. But so the game, that, that game is so great. I don't even blame you that you wasn't playing Infinite. So look, let me just touch up on that before we even move forward. Just, cause, just, just so we can stay ahead of schedule and uh, just talk about what we was going to talk about. Infinite, in my opinion, was a great game. The problem was, there was characters missing. There was no real development support. 
and you know pretty much gas the community that it was gonna be something big and all of a sudden we just you just swept the rug under the, the marvel community and it is what it is you know what i'm saying hell people right. was calling me a shill if you will <laughs> and all i try to do is just push the marvel to the new community because look granted you got street fighter 5 you got all these games they got their tours right right i always wanted to see the marvel community get a tour right mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. so of course i'm gonna be on the forefront mm -hmm. trying to push how, how i need to push it in order to make that happen but you know, one thing led to another. Right. And this is it. Here we are. But you know what? Shout outs to the Marvel Infinite um, community. You guys are still holding strong. You guys are still doing your thing. There's a tour out right now. Shout outs to, uh, it's the Fatal World Tours, uh, Fate, Fate of Two Worlds Tour. I think it's Fate of Worlds. I forgot exactly to say. Forgive me. But shout out to Swole Bad Guy for actually getting that going. The Grand Finals is actually going to be going down in Combo Breaker this year in May. Okay. So big ups to Swole Bad Guy for holding down the Marvel community. You know, and of course, I try my best from time to time to do something for the for the Marvel community period. When it's either Marvel 2, Marvel 3, Infinite, I always try to apply or assert myself somehow. Whether it's a commentary, whether it's me whooping Punk's ass. Or just, just playing the game in general, Marvel, you know what I'm saying? So big ups to the Marvel and for the community for holding it down, even though they don't got development support. But anyway, moving forward, right. let's but talk about... Before we do, though, just for the record, uh, I don't have any negativity towards Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Me neither. I don't have an opinion on the game because I don't I don't play the game. So I don't I don't say it's, it's better or worse than Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm only speaking as in terms of, uh, you know, what, what everybody's playing. You know, the game kind of died off. So I, I'm not saying that I'm against Marvel Infinite or I don't like. The only thing I don't like about it, obviously, there's no Storm, you know, there's no X-Men. That's my baby. That's my favorite character. So that's the only thing that I had against the game. But do I think the game is a decent competitive game? Yes. Do I think it's better than Marvel 3? Absolutely, 100%. Um, it is it just, better than Marvel 2 though? No, there's there's no there is <laughs> no saw, fighting saw, game saw. out. I saw the mix show you was that good. is better than Marvel uh, versus Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with the whole thing. Wiki facts yes. that Wikipedia that. Yes. All right, so you know what? But I, I respect that though. Bringing that up on on topic. But anyway, moving forward, of course, the beginning of Dragon Ball Fighters. We was touching up on that. We started commentating that at NLBC every Wednesday. The shit was a smash hit. I mean. For Christ's sakes, I think the first time we did it, it was like, what, like 12K, 15K people watching? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't remember the exact number, it but the crazy. number was crazy. The reception was crazy. And then what made it even more godlike is the drama behind it. So let's touch about the drama behind it. And it's a good drama. It's a healthy movie. Uh, so obviously, Dragon Ball Fighters, as soon as it dropped, you know, shout out to the anime community. They already dubbed it an anime game. Mm -hmm. Which there is, it is an anime game in a sense because it's anime characters. But I feel like there's every flavor of every game combined in Dragon True. Ball Fighter. So you got Injustice when it comes to the stringing, taking turns. You know, MKX. You can put MKX as well there too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you got the the Marvel side of things in terms of the high pace, the high movement, and stuff yeah, the like assist, that. Yeah, the three on three, the versus side. Yeah, right, yeah. right. It's very similar. You know what I'm saying? Then of course you got. Um, in terms of the air dashing, it is anime style. You right. Know what I'm saying? So it makes sense. Okay. So, but what makes it beautiful is a lot of anime guys. They was trying to claim the game. Like, yeah, it's an anime game. Ain't nobody gonna f. Ain't gonna uh, fuck with us. Here enters Sonic Fox, and you know I'm not even gonna give him all the credit. I'm gonna throw in Sage in there too because he was cooking as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sage came out here. You know Sonic Fox is the talk of the town. He is the esports player of the year. You know, you cannot take Rightfully that away. so. Rightfully so. You can't take that away from him. But obviously, there was a beginning to that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Kill Sage as well was hold, uh, holding a lot of weight. You know, and this is, and I'm only naming those two specifically because I've never seen these guys play anime games other than, I wouldn't consider Skullgirls an anime game, even though it's kind of no. that style. It, Skull you know Girls was, was trying to be like Marvel a, sequel to, a sequel to Marvel 2. Now, mind you, shout, shout out to Mike Z. Shout out to Mike Z, of course. There is Z. a lot of intricacies in that game that actually reflects <clears throat> and reminds me of Marvel 2. So that, I will give you that 100% that you actually went out your way to make a game that was similar to Marvel 2 with your own flair. You know what I'm saying? He made his own characters and shit. Yeah, sakes, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So big ups to Skull Girls and their production team for getting that popping. So I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Um, shows freedom of making right. your games you know right. what I'm saying but anyway enter Sonic Fox and here he comes smoking everybody now mind you you know me I'm always going for the underdogs Fox is nowhere near underdog mm -hmm. so I was always going rooting against my little bro you know what I'm saying at these events you know what I'm saying but every time whoever he bumped into in a grand finals he smoked and I was like damn so he's smoking people so bad at NOBC he like how the hell is he gonna do it with the other competition? When right. I mean the others, I mean the internationals, the Japanese, the white square red dots. Yes, sir. And you know, I'm not saying that as to be disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, there's a lot of softies now mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, social media. Everybody 
fucking gets mad about something, gets emotional over one thing. Yeah, I stubbed my toe, but yeah, you should have stubbed your toe last week or, or some dumb shit. You know what I'm yep. saying? Everybody's emotional about something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But here comes Sonic Fox again. Here comes Sonic Fox. He's whooping ass. And then the only thing, and mind you, he comes from all games busting ass. Obviously, MKX champion, world champion. ESL. This man just got championships. Like, you literally walk in his room and you're gonna stub your toes on trophies and medals. Like, this guy is about that life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So, he, he is the Justin Wong of this era. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Shout yeah. out to Justin Wong, man. Yeah, this kid's incredible. I mean, I remember he was popping in um, Justice One with the Batgirl. And uh, he translates, of course, into his other NRS games uh, MK, MK9, MK, um, X, straight cooking people. I remember uh, one. Um, I don't remember if it was NLBC at that time. Might have been Gark or something else. Uh, Fox was cooking yipes with some Aaron Black. He did he cook me. He did cook oh me, yes. Oh, my gosh. He did cook me. He did cook <laughs> me. He did cook <laughs> my me. My man, I like how you're talking to me like, like I'm the lion of the song. No, 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 no. I, I know. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, I yeah, yeah, he, he cooked my, cook yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah. He cooked my shit. Yeah, you but, can but, move. But, but, but guess what, though? Guess what, though? Hold on. I'm not done. No, I'm not done. No. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, go so ahead. my man, Yikes is in the pot getting cooked up. All you seen was Yikes holding a stick like this. Like, okay. Okay, not playing the game. My man was getting straight cooked. That Aaron Black had this man looking like his feet was in some quicksand. You <laughs> no, that's a fact. That's a fact. Look, look, look. But hold on, hold on. Hang on, though. Hang on, though. He I told you off the rip. Remember, yeah, yeah, I, you did, I you was did, cooking you people did. to turn him. I you said, did. you said, who you play next? I said, sign up five. Yo, I'm about to get my shit cooked. Watch this. <laughs> did I not say that? You did. All right. But I, I, I was getting busy. I was yeah. getting rounds. Yeah. I was getting rounds. Yeah, nah, yeah, you ain't get rounds, but. No, I definitely got rounds. Nah, nah, you didn't get rounds. I got one round. Mm -mm. One. Mm -mm. I mean, it did look bad enough regardless. <laughs> it looked bad regardless. It was, it was busted. I like how he smoked me. He said, man, you got a nice cast. But, yeah. but I didn't even get to play, though. That's the funny part. I didn't even get to play. He's like, yeah, you got a nice, nice. He's like, you got a nice cast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker, I didn't even get to play for Yo. it. Oh my God! What was it? Just like plus forty or something like oh, that? Oh, oh, you talking about you talking about the sample? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that's plus fifteen, baby. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was stuck. Oh yeah, you yeah 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 yeah. 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 No proximity block neither. Mm. All plus rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's not talk about the bad. Let's talk about the good. Anyway, the guy <laughs> been whipping ass since he was like thirteen years old. Started mm -hmm. when I first saw him, he was in Dead or Alive. You know what I mean? Obviously, as the games progressed, he just kept smoking everybody as the games progressed. And this is when you really saw him really dominate when he started playing MK9. I forgot what tournament that was. I think he won his first MK9 tournament. I think it was CEO 2011. I forgot who he beat in the grand finals. I think it was Tom Brady. Damn, uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to, to Tom Brady. Shout out to the Lin Kuei man. The so, GOAT. The GOAT. I'm talking about football, Tom Brady. Okay, there you go. Again, again. No disrespect. Hopefully he don't watch this. No frills, no frills, no frills. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, he beat, he, beat, he beat Tom Brady in the finals. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, he's been catching heat regardless in terms of the momentum, but it's like ever since then, this kid hasn't stopped. You know what I mean? Like, we literally watched this kid you know what I mean? Just grow in front of us in the FGC, yo. <laughs> no frills, no frills. No frills, the whole point. Fuck it, you don't gotta feel bad about that shit. Fuck it, let it rip. Tom Brady, we haven't seen Tom Brady in a hot minute. He's cooling off with the Lin Kuei right now. Nah, let me stop. Tom Brady's one of those dudes, man. Without the six ring. Yeah, yeah, nah. He, anyway. Um, Tom Brady's cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's cool. But anyway, move mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. All right, let's, let's stop roasting him because we can stay here all day. I, what do you mean, let's? I wasn't roasting him. Yes, she was. No, I didn't. Because I said Tom Brady, and you started talking about that. We I'm talking about, about the... Super Bowl Tom Brady. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So, so anyway, like moving forward. Him? Huh? You felt like you was roasting him? A little bit. Okay. That's say, your fault. You was a catalyst. You started say. that shit. <laughs> yeah, say nothing. All right, anyway, anyway, moving forward. We good? Yeah, I'm, I'm straight. All right, moving forward. Uh, NLBC, Sonic Fox cooking everybody. And of course, we think it to ourselves. How is he going to do with the out of, uh, outside competition? He, he was cooking in um, MVCI first. We don't... Okay, okay. With, All right, so you, you want to go timeline. Yeah. Lead yeah. it to Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he, so yes, he, he MVCI. Was MVCI. I mean, mm -hmm. we, don't, we could touch up on it. I mean, that was a big moment. And was that 2018 that he played for Filipino champ? Or was that 2017? I feel like that was 2017. I think it was 17, yeah. Yeah, that was late 2017. Because 2018, that MVCI was... That, that, it was mm -mm. MVCI was dead. All right, so we don't talk about MVCI no more because, and this ain't no disrespect because we talking 2018. Bat, bat. All right, here bat. you go. There you go. Say no more. Say no more. Got you. He did, he did cook champ, though. I mean, he did Oh, cook yeah. Champ. He did, we don't got to talk about that it. That was the last I heard of champ. So yeah, you know what I'm so. saying, thug? Like, that oh, raccoon, thug? Right. You know what I'm saying? All right, we don't got to talk about that no more. All right, look, look, look. look. Anyway. Small. Moving forward. Small. Moving forward, of course, we thinking to ourselves, uh, what's going to be Sonic Fox's challenge, right? Because, of course, he's cooking at OBC, but we can't mention that, right? We could be like, you cooking at OBC. I don't mean you gonna cook the world, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, obviously, before we get to final mm -hmm. round, and this is a rare occasion, right? We don't get this a lot from international competition, which is crazy. My man Goichi won a tournament 
and he literally called out Sonic Fox. Oh, yeah. But now, now mind you, this is yeah. a shocker because international, you know, when it comes to the Japanese players in general, they're very zen-like, they're very respectful, they're very, you know, just chill about things. They just get right. the job done. They let their game do the talking. They don't even talk. Like, that's just how they get down for years. That's why they've been smoking us for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this is international competition. We're just touching one region, which is Japan. You know what I'm saying? One country, I would say. You know what I'm saying? But that that's just an example. And Goichi actually stepped out of his way. The king actually, of poverty games. The king of poverty games. Mm -hmm. Yes, coming from that Melty Blood background. <sighs> animes, period, in general. And he called out Sonic Fox. And then, of course, we was there. We was commentating winner, bro. Right. Where he lost to Chris G in the winners, and then he reset it, beat Chris G in the grand finals. And then as soon as he finished, he popped off to Goichi right back. In Japanese. In Japanese. Which we, don't I heard, even, we don't even know it was accurate. I heard it was, I heard it was shitty. Yeah. I yeah. heard it was shitty. I heard I heard yeah. he took it straight out of an anime. He thought it was cool. <laughs> I heard it was shitty. All right. That's just what it, that's just that's just what I heard from the majority of the people. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I pay attention to the people. And they said it was shitty. Yeah. Especially the ones that speak the language. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, he called them out. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? And this was around a time where everything was a little too buddy buddy. Like people went and be like, "Hey man, you ain't let me you ain't you ain't let me play, man. Good shit." <laughs> Good shit. Like there was just literally there was just this era right now where there was no real rivalries. Nobody mm -hmm. was stepping up to the plate. It shit was real cut and dry. Well, see you in the next tournament and we wasn't really expecting anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless of course, you know, you got your little Ins and outs when it comes to uh, certain players or players, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, K-Brad, Wolf Chrome, but you you have to wait for that shit to happen. You know what right. I'm saying? This guy, Goichi, called them out on the first of 10, bro. Just in general. He called them out. He wanted to play the man in the set. He respected Sonic Fox's skill. And then there you have it. Here comes final round. Um, and the first of 10 happened. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it was a little close at the beginning, but then, I mean, y'all saw the footage. Goichi smoked them. Yeah, and mind you, this was before the tournament. And, and, and... It was it was before the first patch, so Adol Gonhar was ridiculous. Amazing. Vegeta says it's still yeah. great. Oh my god. Cell yeah, still had a six frame normal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This shit was crazy. You couldn't even yeah. you couldn't even um challenge him in the clashes. You couldn't. And, and Fox had two characters on the scene without a two L, which was Hit and, and Dragon Ball Fighters considered not so good. Uh yeah, Hit, Goku Black, and his sixteen, of course, was Was the only people. character yeah. with the two L, yes. But um I mean, yeah, like you said, it was close at first and then Goichi just pulled away, man. He just pulled away. All of a sudden, Fox didn't open him up no more. His team lacked the, you know, the cheap. You know I mean, he had no, he had no compass rose mix of that compass. That's up, down, left, right. Goichi just started locking him down and just draining his health ball just slowly and surely. But after that, <clears throat> I remember Sonic Fox specifically said to me, he said, "Okay, I see what the problem is. I gotta switch. I gotta switch my order on my team or do something on my team because." I'm beating him in the neutral. But he's not opening just, him yeah, up. I'm, I just can't open him up. And you did call us from jump. You did say he is not going to beat him with whack-ass Goku Black. He said Goku Black sucks. Let me ask you something, Chris. He as said long, he is I, the, the Wesker of the game. All right, let me tell you something. As long as you've known me, yes. you've known me for a good 17 years now. Yes. Right? 17 years. <clears throat> right? Uh, when did I ever lie to you when it comes to two combatants playing each other? Am I not 100% accurate? You are. I got a shaft eat myself sometimes. I have to. You're on point. You know what I'm saying? I just call it how it is. Listen, I, 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 what, what I do now in terms of uh, enjoying my hobby, my passion for a living, I commentate. What I do is I do see a lot of people's problems in and out of the game. I know what is missing in people's gameplay. And mind you, I'm a cheap motherfucker as well when I play fighting games. Chris Majors will test you that. You know what I'm saying? He'll test that. Shout out to that. I, I, not to control, but... Like I do to anybody out there listening, please, I highly recommend Yipes to test games. You want somebody that's going to really break down the game and find the ins and outs of actually what's cheap and what's not about a fighting game. He is the perfect person to do that. Every character he touches, he finds exactly what is cheap with the character. I don't know anybody else that does it quite like that besides him and Sonic Fox maybe. But just in general, if you need somebody to test your games, IFC Yipes is the man. I, I can't see why he doesn't have a testing job by now. I just don't see it, but continue. Why, thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate that, man. Give a round of applause to Chris <clears throat> Majors. God damn. Damn. My man, 100 grand. But anyway, you know, uh, moving forward to the Goichi Sana Fox, it was one hell of a saga. Like, it's crazy how it's Dragon Ball Fighters that we had sagas. Yeah. We actually had legit yeah. sagas, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, it was Goichi Sonic Fox, and that continued on. Obviously, we commentated it. Uh, we didn't commentate the first one, unfortunately. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to just throw that out. This is just no frills, man. For anybody that's watching, um, I know a lot of the stream warriors, the monsters, 
they pretty much upset that Chris Matrix wasn't with me in a lot of the world tour, a lot of the tournaments. We don't know why exactly that is, but obviously we're trying to give the people what they want and they want the road dog. So I know, I know, I guess uh, season one of the world tour was, I guess, a, a test. But I mean, come on, guys, let's get this going and let's get Chris Matrix in there because I missed the hell out of my road dog. Yeah, let's get him in there, baby. Let's get him in there. I like how you talking to yourself in the yeah, third person. That's cool. Yeah, we got to get him in. Like, hey, let's get him in there. But no, real shit, though. Uh, <clears> we need Chris <throat> Matrix in the mix. You know what I mean? So I really do appreciate the tournaments that did invite us. Uh, of course, let's give a, a big uh, shout out to Mono. Mono hold us down. Oh, he yeah, first he attack. He brought us out for first attack in Puerto Rico. That was beautiful. The, f the first thing was the uh, eSports Arena we opened up. eSports e Arena. Um, shout out to... Uh, uh, was it Drew? Was it Drew? Drew Hanlon? Is it Drew? I, I, I want to say Drew Hanlon. Damn, I don't want to disrespect it, but damn, man. And, I, uh, I don't know we, not, we got this name. I think it was Drew. It was Drew, but shout out to Drew for bringing us out, man. He actually hollered at Chris Matrix personally to actually. That was uh, Bam. That was Bam. That was Bam. That's what that I'm talking about. Bam, Bam. I'm sorry, Bam. Yeah, Bam, Bam, Bam. Bam, Bam. 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 I'm sorry, baby? brother. That's all I'm sticking up. Yeah, Bam. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah Bam. Yeah. Bam yeah. was the one that set it off for us. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not only show some love, but you know, showing love, put some chicken in our pocket. That's just oh, how yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In Vegas, Luxor, we was treated with so much respect. You know what I mean? It was beautiful. Yeah. So shout out to Bam. And that was the the run back of Goichi Sonic Fox, and. Right at, at final round, right when um, Sonic Fox first lost to Goichi, I think that pretty much solidified at that moment in time Goichi being the best. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because they, they were the two winning players, and they finally went up against each other, and Goichi cooked them. Yeah. So that solidified him being the best. So from that point on, he was the best. Yeah. Uh, as time progressed, oh, man. Let's, so let's talk about Esports Arena. The, the second, the, the run back. Um, a lot of people just see for face value that Goichi beat him again. Um, Sonic Fox said he has some control of malfunctions. Um, Sonic Fox has been, I guess, had a slight reputation of uh, coming up with some OSs. I will attest that I 100% believe him in that because I watched them play so many sets and they were literally, literally going back and forth. No one had any advantage. They were going back and forth. Sonic Fox was playing hit on point. Uh, do I think Sonic Fox could have could have definitely beat him? Yes, it could have went either way. Even when you ask Goichi himself, Goichi said it's it's 50 50. It's 50 50. So the adjustment that Sonic Fox did make at that point strategically, it did work. You know what I mean? So it's unfortunate that his pad went out. So you know we'll never get to really know what happened right there. But I guess even so, from moving forward from that point, Goichi is still the best. No, that's a fact. I mean, we spoke to Goichi right afterwards. He even said it himself. He was like, man, I could tell that he had controller issues or whatever the case is. But you know what? When it comes to the world of just competing one-on-one, -on -one, you always got to be ready, not only on the mental side of things, but in terms of just having your equipment in check. Right. So that was a win for Goichi. No matter what, we're not taking it away from the man. And he was cooking, too, regardless. So it is what it is. Now, uh, moving forward. Okay, so that was final round. Mm -hmm. Then it went to Esports Arena. And obviously, at that point, Sonic Fox was like, I, I got to switch up my team. And here, this is when it comes. This is when it comes to, uh, he started picking Cell Kid Boo Gotenks, right? Yes. But let, let's, not, let's not even touch up on that first. Let's just talk about everybody else that was getting better, better in the process. So obviously, Kill Sage, cooking as well. We had Grover at one point. He was cooking, but it's just, you know, he right. bumps into Sage or, or uh, Sonic Fox. <clears throat> he gets cooked. Same thing with Nico Maki. You know what I'm saying? Um, same thing with Necro Undyne. Mm. There was a lot of freaking killers. It's just they get they hit that roadblock, yeah. smoked. Yeah. That's it, smoked. Yeah. You know what I mean? No cigarettes needed, nothing. Smoked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Fox but, was damn near untouchable. No, there was LBC. weak. The, he he never lost. Yeah. The guy never lost. Yeah. And that's when you start questioning yourself, like, man, can he really hang with the international competition? Now, mind you, touch up on final round. <clears throat> Again, he did beat the likes of Dagora in the tournament to actually get into the grand finals against Goichi. Right. I think yeah. the, didn't Dogora send him to losers or was it Goichi? Go no no. Um Dogora sent him to losers. Then Fox um for some reason Dogora lost to Goichi. And then Goichi came back and um and beat Sonic two sets. Yes. So I don't I don't know if he got his run back with Dogora. That I'm that I gotta remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. But anyway, long story short, Fox. Um I mean we could check the results. We, gotta <clears throat> right here. we could check the results. But uh um, yeah, no, no, it, it, yeah, yeah, no, it had to, it had to, because um, Dagora played Goichi in the winners finals, I believe, right? I think so. I ain't gonna lie, I missed some of that. I have to look back in the footage. I was uh, commentating right. NBCI as that was happening. So, uh, but anyway, just uh, but looking back, like I said, uh, that wasn't uh, Goichi wasn't the only problem he had to deal with in order to get that get established as one of the best in the world. I mean, he got top eight in the first ever major. Yeah. 
Well, he was big he, major he, where everybody's in the building. He wasn't using his new team just yet. No, no, this is right after. That's when he yeah, started picking yeah, the team. Okay. Right. right after Esports Arena, because it was yeah. final round. The following weekend was Esports Arena. And then that's when he came back to NLBC. I think he missed an NLBC. Yeah, he did. He just did. so he could mess, mess with the team. And then he yeah. came back and it's back to the cookies. You know and, and I'm not going to lie. When I first heard he was playing that team, I didn't I didn't have too much confidence in that team. I said, you know what? I said, he's he's playing a team now where he he's taking away neutral neutral um, controlling assists and everything like that and he's going straight for the mix now I said one of the strengths that he had up against Goichi was the fact that he was beating him in a neutral so I'm like now you're going to sacrifice all of that for two lockdown assists just for the mix and I didn't think it was going to be it was going to work I, I was agreeing with you with the same opinion we were talking about I that I said I don't think there's no way in hell he's going to be able to fuck but you know what, this. But, but, we even, but before we even get to that because this one I was cooking up so obviously, final round over. Uh, Esports Arena happened. So Goichi at this point is too old. So we're like, okay. So now we already see who's the killers out here. Now you know me. I'm always about matching killers on killers. So obviously, we already know who's the killers in Japan. I was trying to see who's gonna be those guys that was gonna mesh with them here in the United States, right? Here enters Hook Gang God from New Jersey, rolling around with the goons with a guy named Big and Juicy. That's crazy. The Hook Gang. That's the Hook Gang. That's wow. He he rolled up deep. Yeah. That NLB, I remember, he wasn't even on the main, he wasn't even on the stream station, he was on the side station, and the hook gang was there, and they tapped it like, yo, giving that look like, yo, best piccolo in the world right here, watch, watch. I'm like, okay, let me see what he's about. Because, you know, I do have some piccolo experience, because I play FC Apes. Uh, I don't know if y'all knew, but his first character was piccolo, hit, hit piccolo Vegeta. Mm -hmm. My man dropped piccolo like a bad habit, I don't know why. I, I don't. Piccolo's his favorite Dragon Ball character, but he he dropped them. Whatever. Uh, actually, he 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 said he didn't. They didn't go together. Yeah, the team didn't mix. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Okay, I was okay, just, okay. I was kind of separated. But see, okay. what happens is, you okay. know, as a fighting game player, sometimes when you bump into some <laughs> shit that you spoil with, you know, what I'm saying you stick with it. You feel me? Then then Yipes found Cell, and he started doing those combos, and he realized how easy they was, and then he was like, Yo, yo, Chris, yo, I'm feeling some Cell, my dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm feeling some sal, bro. Yeah, that's facts, though. That's facts. All right, so, but... All of a sudden, Piccolo was gone. I mean, it is what it is. And you know what? At that point, Hook Gengo was so godlike with the character, I didn't want to disrespect him and follow his footsteps, yeah. man. I was like, you know what? You got Piccolo. That's your man. But anyway, man, shout-outs to uh, Eduardo Hook. I don't even know his last name still, but we call him Eduardo Hook because that, that is his Twitch name. It's, um... No, no, don't throw it out there. Okay. You okay. can throw it out there. Yeah, y'all can look him up. Hook Gang Guard. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually sponsored by NRG. That's actually Shaquille O'Neal's team. People yeah, don't know. That is Shaq. Shaq Shaquille O'Neal actually owns a team and he sponsored Hook Gang Guard to the point where he actually met Shaquille O'Neal. We saw a couple of oh, yeah. videos. We've seen him. Yeah. What was that joint he was on? That they 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 um they did like a mini doc. What was I know, it on? I know. It was I, on I a channel. Remember. I forgot the channel, but he was on a mini doc. He was in there with Shaq. And it's crazy. You can really see how tall Shaq is when you see a guy short like Hook, right? Yo, listen, right in front of that shit look crazy. When you see Shaq next to six foot dudes that you know was not short, and he making them look small, that's crazy. My man, he made Hook Angola look like a pistol, man. <laughs> Dead ass, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, uh, a pistol, guys, yes. Yeah, yeah. A pistol. Anyway, um, Hook came on the scene. Came on the scene. But this was, was before he got cats, sponsored. Yeah, yeah, it was hitting cats with the Hell Zone grenade mix. Had me going crazy. You can find that footage on YouTube. When I was commentating that, I was like, oh my God, I was losing my goddamn mind. Hook was hitting people with the Hell Zone grenade mix. Piccolo was opening cats up, and my man was rocking Point Goku Black, Piccolo Vegeta. Vegeta was like probably his one of his best characters. Always stuck with him like that, you know what I mean? So, and it's funny because that tournament, Fox wasn't there, Kill Sage wasn't there. And shout out to my, my man, because I, I got a lot, a lot of love for you, um, Nico Maki. He was there. He thought he was going to roll up. Now, I mean, nice, easy win. Mm -mm. All, all the killers wasn't mm -mm. there. I was outside for that. Yo, Nico, mm -hmm. Nico playing hook. Oh, my God. Hook cooked this man shit. Ooh. Straight shish kebab. Yo, we walked out. I was like, damn, you see that piccolo? I looked to my left. My man Nico was slumped in a stairwell. No, no, he was he was sitting. No, 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 no. He was sitting. No, no, he was sitting, no, no, no. He was slumped, but it was he was in Indian position yeah. the way he was sitting. Yeah, yeah. With hands I, on forehead, talking about like, man, I'm I the love, wackest in Jersey. <laughs> my that man ass, knew he had win. Yo, Dude was like this. He was like this. <laughs> I'm like, Nico, you all right? I, yo, I swear to God, I swear to God, I walked outside, right? I seen him. First off, I see Matrix. He's like, 
Yo, I said, oh, I'm like, I'm like, yo, Nico, Nico. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, Nico, you all right? I thought he actually lost like a family member. That's how bad it looked. Yo, he, he was, was looking just, like, he was crushed. I'm like, yo, out. I'm like, yo, you all right? He was like, yeah, man, I really thought I was gonna win. Yeah, I said, I, 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 I said just like this, Nico. I said, yo, man, that Piccolo. He said, I'm a lab bit. I'm gonna laugh. I was like, yo. With the one anime, head, with the one yeah. anime tear sweat coming from the top. Of the I, I had a mad concern looked on my face, but I was like, yo, in my head, I was like, yo, man, you got your shit cooked. Man, you thought you had an easy win here? That shit was bust. But let me tell let me talk. You know, I'm a firm believer of calm. I've told you this for many years. You know what I'm saying? Before he even played hook, he said he was gonna win the tournament Facts. and smoke the guy. So I was like, I bet. Facts. I'm waiting for the show. And then I, you know, you blink and you go to the front of the store. He's he's in the position with his hands in the forehead. Yes. That's how you. That's not a celebrating look. No. It's not. That's not a celebrated look. You know what I'm saying? It is <laughs> Yo, what it nigga, is. I love you, man. But you know what? Shit this. like that that make players strong. Though at the end of the day, yeah, that's, yeah, of that course. just that just goes and that's shows you. That's a reality you, check. That goes and sh that goes and shows you that they actually care and they're trying to improve. So yeah. I'm all about that. And it's not like Hook just like just came on and he was godly. You know what I mean? Hook played a lot online. You know what I mean? He, he definitely logged a lot of hours and a lot of EXP with Piccolo and. Obviously, nobody had no Piccolo experience because nobody was holding no weight with Piccolo in NLBC. Actually, uh, the consensus was that Piccolo sucked. Even when I interviewed Hook that day, he said, oh, well, you know, um, I don't know, uh, Piccolo sucks. Uh, you know, so I'm like, yeah, 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 see? yeah, yeah, <laughs> Hook. Yeah, Hook. You know what, though? I, I like that. You know, that that's that's like a... You know, when you win a tournament and you downplay your character just to make yourself look no, no, no. He, he said quote unquote. He, no, he he was he was trying to say like everybody says he sucks, but I don't think he sucks. First of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch up on that because okay. mind you, okay. there was three. What was it? Three. He went to three NLBC straight winning, and then the fourth week enters Sonic Fox, and that's when he got smoked. Now, mind you, mind you. He was thinking about dropping the character because sm so Fox smoked it. Now my, you remember? I no, 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 no. That's when that's when the Hell Zone grenade mix got got exposed. It got blown up. Right. My right. man Fox was he, he, right. He was reflecting them shit. Yeah, away. I hear that. But guess what? He thought the character sucked after that. No, 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 no. He thought yeah. Goku Black sucked. He, no, was trying yeah. to, he was trying to get rid of Goku Black. Bro, you ain't see the shit he was taking, bro. Are you freaking serious, <laughs> bro? He had yeah. What, what, what Fox had? Yeah, sell Kid Buu Gotenks. You thought after blocking all that shit, Yo, he was caring about a piccolo, my man? Yeah, my man Hook was getting his shit mixed. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because you could you you could have one blind eye, right? And you can see Hook Gango just playing mad characters, mad people on the side, right? Yeah. Not characters, mad, mad people on the side. Then as soon as he plays Fox, he look like a random scrub. Frank. But Fox, that, Fox but, is that to everybody. But no, but he's that type of dude. That's what I'm yeah. saying. But anyway, that bus ass pretty much led him to being one of the best players in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, just to fast forward, here comes Combo Breaker. Uh, they was doing the uh, the last chance qualify there for the. And this before he was sponsored, right, Hook? Before I don't know actually. It's a good question. I don't know exactly when is it they got sponsored, but definitely it was before some of the power. I'm um, absolutely because he had the jersey when he went in there. Right. So it was definitely sometime somewhere in between some of the power. Was Fox sponsored at that point? When did Echo Fox pick him up? Uh, they picked him up. Yeah, they've been picked him up. So they got picked up later on. I know that. Yeah, for Dragon Ball. But um, I know, I know for a fact. Uh, after he won, did he win Injustice? No, no, no. That was the first protest, was it? Was it MKX? I don't know. It was somewhere along the lines, um, I know he got picked up. Because this was around the time after Justin got picked up, Tokido got picked up. That's when they was picking their squad. They was pretty much making the damn Yankees. Oh, yeah, it at was that point. And then they picked Sonic Fox up, and then later on Sage. But it was definitely before Dragon Ball Fighters. Absolutely. Definitely before Dragon Ball Fighters. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but, yeah, moving forward. Um, Combo Breaker. Combo Breaker, yes, Combo Breaker. Uh, they was doing the last chance qualifier. For people that don't know, some of the power, uh, they, the, well, let's call it, let's call it the, the correct way of saying it, Beyond the Summit. These guys do stuff for StarCraft, uh, Smash Brothers Melee, anything that's big in the quote unquote esports market. Dota, I believe. Dota, yes, Dota. Um, these guys, I think it is the main game they actually do is Dota. Yeah. These guys bring in some serious numbers, and I love the, the laid back, casual feel gameplay. You right. know, it's, it's just laid back. Plus um, <clears throat> hunger on top of that, and they just all bring that up in one environment where everybody just gets to see how exactly they train, how exactly they play, how they how they interact with each other, with a little bit of shenanigans are, th are thrown on top of that. Yeah, Beyond the Summer was probably the most fun event I've been to. Got like yeah, it, we, it was ridiculous. We're gonna touch that up. So obviously combo breaker. So Beyond the Summit goes, yo, we're gonna do some of the power. You know, they announced the, they announced the, t the talent. Of course, me and my beloved was in there, um, and then, then they was inviting their players little by little. And then uh, obviously they, they they obviously it was an invitational tournament, but there was one more spot left for a last chance qualifier, and they gave it a combo breaker. Big shout outs to Rick the Hado, 
for uh, giving us uh, giving us that spot in Combo Breaker, mm-hmm. for them to give him a shot to actually get that spot to to go to the Summit of Power. Uh, of course, Fenrich won that one. Yep. This is actually the first time I see Fenrich play. I heard so many good things about him. Yeah. I heard he came from the uh, Blaze Blue side of things. Right, apparently, yeah. and it's crazy. Before I even seen him play. All I kept hearing from people is this guy's the most optimal player you will ever see. Yeah, uh, you know shout out to Biscus. He he put yes. me on about Fenrich. He he told me how optimal Fenrich was. He mm. said though this this guy is ridiculous and it definitely reflected on though. But continue. Let me ask you something. That um that tournament we did in Vegas. What the Esports Arena opener? He no 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 not even the tournament where we did it at the uh not the Esports Arena Millennial Esports. That was before some of the power. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Because I stayed on the West. Yes, it was before yep. some of the power. That's when I seen Fenrich play again. Oh, oh, oh. That's when Nico beat him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, uh, it was. Yeah. So it was before the some of oh, the yeah. power. But anyway, that's when I started oh, yeah. really seeing, seeing him play for real. Right. You know what I mean? That's when I really started seeing him play. I'm like, oh, shit, this guy's the real deal. You know that, that's when that's when I first seen him hit Goichi with the TOD. The, off the, the perfect sound, attack. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, He killed him over perfect attack. Oh, right, my right. gosh. All right. So, uh, hey, what you guys talking about back there, huh? Oh, like actually, nah. I, I mean, smell. I'm Dominican off the riffs. So I already feel like I'm smelling like Sasson already. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, I thought I thought somebody fought it in here. Yo, I, yo, I was smelling that too, bro. I, I thought, thought you somebody was fought it, in here. I thought you was letting nah, it. I'm nah, not nah. gonna lie. All right, look, 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 look. This is you the no see me leaning like this? Nah, nah, hold on. I was right. like, damn, my man is nervous. He letting him go. Boop, 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 boop. Nah, nah. First off, boop, this is the No Frills boop, podcast, boop, correct? Boop, this is the No. This is the No Frills podcast, bro. Right? Yeah. Correct. You let him go. No, I'll tell you if I let it go. I'm comfortable right now. Okay. You know how my shit smells. You ain't let one go? Nope. Okay, cool. That's our song. That's pure song. I mean, my, my shit is flowers <laughs> if, if, if it smells like this, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. He's talking about my shit. I wish my fault smelled like song anyway. Um, Because I'm that literally shit, cooking. That shit was rank, though. I was like, mm. Because I'm literally cooking. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so moving forward, of course, uh, some of the power happens. That we had some <clears throat> great talent there. You know what I'm saying? This is That was the, the first. Best. The, yeah, yeah, it was the, the best. Time. Yeah, the best at that time. Mm-hmm. At that time, I think they, no, they, no, 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 the best. They're still the best. They're Everybody still the best. Ah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Fenrich, Goichi, Kazunoko, um, uh, Moke, Dagora, Dagora, Chris G, Chris G, Sonic Fox, Sonic Fox Hook and Guard. Hook and guard. Uh, there was one more. Nakia was Na- there. Na- the Kill Sage was there. Nakia was there. Yeah, Kill, the Kill Sage, Sage was there. Uh, 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 Dawn was there. Your Hosi and uh, Lord, uh, Knight. Lord Knight. Yes. So we had a nice little. What? Nice little Summit rotation to deep. kill us. Yeah, that shit was fire. That shit was fire. For, for, for sure, was, for sure. Yeah. And then, uh, obviously, we're talking about the Hook and God saga now. So, you know, and, and mind you, it's crazy because, you know, just to touch up a little bit on Hook and God struggle, obviously, he was losing to Sonic Fox, but he was actually losing to Chris G early on. Oh, my gosh. Chris G owned his soul. Yeah, early on, early on. Even though they didn't bump into so many tournaments, but once they did bump into each other, yeah. Chris G was smoking. You know yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 you know what I mean? Hook and God, he... He acknowledged that. He was like, yo, yeah. I was getting smoked by this guy. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because you're watching him smoke everybody else. Uh-huh. And then Chris G comes up and just smokes him. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's always that player yeah. versus player. There's it is, always it is, that player yeah. versus player. You know what I'm saying? 100 percent Um, but anyway, and then it's funny enough, Hook and God actually lost to Chris G in that tournament. And then I'm like, damn, now who's gonna win that tournament? Obviously, the, the obvious ones that you're thinking of is uh Goichi. Goichi and Sonic was the Fox, favorite. Right? The heavy favorite. Now mind you, this is the first time like we always knew Kazunoko was godlike. But mm-hmm. this is that was the tournament where we was like, yo, this guy is kinda kinda real. Yeah, yeah, we just call him Almide. Yeah, he was like, that's not silicone right there. That's nope. real. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. me? We saw Kazunoko was like, huh, this guy actually might cook this tournament. And that's when we really started seeing Yao to really get his shit off. Oh yeah. With the assists. We we're like, oh, yo, yeah. this is kind of getting kind of wild. Uh-huh. Right? But anyway, he didn't win. No story show, he didn't win, but he was cooking in the tournament. But, right. you know, obviously the favorite was going to Sonic Fox. And then here comes Sonic Fox. I mean, uh, uh, Hook Gang God. And he smoked Sonic Fox and Goichi. But who put who put Goichi in the losers again? Because Hook Hook was in the losers, right? Was it? So- no, no, no. They was going based off of... I think they did the placement on whoever won in their round robins. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And then yeah. they went through. I think Hook right. went... Damn, I gotta remember that shit was Hulk like smoked Goichi and somebody and another Japanese player. Because that's what we were like, yeah, we can tell that, that they don't know Kazunoko? nothing about Piccolo. Was it? Or was it, it Moke? It might have been. I gotta look at it again. Yeah, but long but, story short. And that's 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 also when Hook picked up Cell. He started playing Cell. So he got rid of Goku Black. And he picked up Cell, who of course has a 2L. Uh T- six frames. T- mm-hmm, six, six frames. Stand, stand light. That that was cheap sell. That was that was that, that was, was super perfect. perfect. No, that was super, super perfect. perfect sell. Now he's yeah, perfect. He just, sell. Yeah, now he's now he's perfect. 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 Now he's per
smoked Goichi somehow. We was like, whoa. Bro, we on the couch. We like, what the fuck is going on? Yes. We like, yo, this is crazy. Because obviously, when you got two guys like players under one roof, when you got Goichi and Sanofaji, you're like, yo, what the hell? Yeah. And they, they losing. That's when you start seeing the meta change all together. Because now you're like, hmm, they don't got character knowledge. And it's crazy because we was talking to the Japanese cast. They so cool, man. Shout out to the Gora. Yeah. You know what I mean? These guys... They don't really speak too much lick of English, but these guys try so hard to communicate with us, especially when the vibes is good. Because, you know, we saw Shindagura that night that he was a little twizzy. Oh, yeah. But it was, a oh, fun, yeah. it was the first, it was the first it was the, you know, for me to see that, like, for me to see that from the girl, that means he was very comfortable he was at. So the, that. The girl was my favorite player at that time, too. Because you're a kid, you're a kid, kid, yeah, yeah, kid, kid bizzle mm -hmm. kind of guy. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. You like that destruction and chaos, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, mm -hmm. you a clean player too. For you to like Kid Boo tells me that I don't know you too much. My man, man is chaotic. Kid Boo was ridiculous. He is, he is, he is ridiculous. Yeah, we was watching the footage. We was watching the footage. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Hook Gang wins that tournament. We like, holy shit. Now that's when it was an eye opener to me. That obviously, you know, we're not we're not stepping away from everybody else. Everybody else has got like they're good players in their own right. But that's when you what? sorry, not not only did Hook Gang win that tournament, but he beat the best two players there to win that That's tournament. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, so he, he finally conquered Sonic Fox. He defeated Japanese best Goichi. Mm -hmm. And he won, like, the most condensed, talent-rich tournament ever. You know what I mean? There, was, there were was, no scrubs in there. There was no scrubs. It was Absolutely straight not. killers. That nobody had an easy match. Nobody. Nobody It was straight killers. Even, even though, you know, somebody might have, like, well, like most 0 and, match, like yeah. 0 and 10, but, it, but, but uh, yeah. you, we wouldn't even clown you on that because there's so many killers exactly. there. And mind you, in, in this world of fighting games, obviously in the world of esports, there's a lot of team-based stuff. So you actually got people that watch your back. In fighting games, you're by yourself. Yep. So we we would never knock you, especially if you were in a building with so many killers mm -hmm. that we're going to shit on you like, oh, you got smoke. Like, nah, like, and there that, can only be one. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And that, fun fact, one. that's when um, Chris G, I think he, damn, who did he drop? I know he 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 picked up after that tournament. He started playing um, TN. I forgot no, who no, dropped he, over his team. He uh, did an Android 18 for Bardock. He was an Android 18 player originally. So he was playing Android 18. Uh, he was playing um, Android 18 originally. Trunks Vegeta, and yeah. then he did an Android 18, and he started playing Bardock. Uh, Bardock Trunks Vegeta, and then now. No 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 no. Before that, he 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 picked up. He had picked up. Um, TM. Damn, he was yeah, he was he was playing. No, that was, he was doing that was, combo. That was after that. That was after that. That's when he started playing TN. Started putting a little double supers on and shit. Yeah. Rest in peace. If you want to die, get out of the way. In this case, get in the way. It's not yeah. gonna kill you. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, hook and guard one. Of course, <clears throat> moving forward. Obviously, there was a little gap in between, and here comes CEO right afterwards. But you know, we thinking in between the time, we like, damn, uh, who the fuck is gonna win this tournament? You know what yeah. I'm saying? And now, mind you. CEO is the first stop, the first official stop of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then enters Kazu Noko. That's when we really started seeing what Yamcha was about. When he had that whole team together of Gotenks and Kid Buu. Now, mind you, I think he had... No, no, no. He, he, had, a Kid dope, he had a dope Gohan Kid Buu, right? Then he did a yeah. Kid Buu for Gotenks. I remember that for sure. I don't know when it was. I got to remember. I think after the nerf. I he, After the patch, yeah. It was after the patch. The first mm -hmm. one, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, so he won CEO with Kid Buu. After, the, after they had him doing squats on, on a freaking... See, now I'm curious. Too. Keep talking. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, after he started doing squats, after after the key blast, that's when he, he deaded him. Okay. But that was for sure... Yeah. That's yeah. when he... All right, so I don't even got to look. It was I was like, damn, he dropped... Everybody sort of dropped him for me. And I was like, yo, the character still Even the Gora, though. man, the master Kid Buu early I, on. I, I, was, I was hurt. I was hurt. I see, right. I see them trying other stuff without Kid Buu. I was like... Mm, don't do this to me. But you know what? Let me highlight. Let me not even highlight the skills of Kazunoko because this guy, there's so much things I could talk about <laughs> about his resume. But how about that intro? Yo, the man. <laughs> yo. So basically, it was Apology Man versus Kazunoko. Apology Man was there too yeah, yeah. at the summit. At the summit. Yeah, damn, I forgot about it. You know what it yeah, my was? My fault, Vaneev. You and that warm it, milk. I'm sorry. Yeah, it had to be the warm milk. Let me talk to you about Vaneev. And, and I'm going to highlight you. Look, look, look at the faces these guys are making. Yo, we know yo. a guy named Vaneev. He plays Nail, not Piccolo. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy, well, so we was doing a cereal tier list. What you know about my man microwaves his milk before he puts his cereal on? Do you do that? Facts. You've done it before. <laughs> oh, Ru Ru wow. Ruby, I thought I knew you. We're going to cut this out, though. We, we, we don't, I, want, we don't I want thought Vinny, I knew you. Look, look, look at Jack. We don't want Vaneev to know he has somebody else. But you've done it before. <laughs> but well, hold up. But you've done it before. Oh, sure. You wanted to go to sleep or something? You're not eating oatmeal. Certain cereal tastes What cereal? He said Fruit Loops so taste better. Loop. All right, warm. so my man Ruby said certain cereals taste better when it's warm. You said Fruit Loops and what else? It's like, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a, not all the time thing. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. But my Yo, thing that is, shit is hold on, weird, hold on, hold on. When you when that you heat the milk, bro. doesn't that make the cereal get soggy faster? That's what I'm saying. So Fruit Loops, I know Fruit Loops get soggy for a fact. I know Fruit Loops get soggy. So as soon as that, yeah, yeah, it's oatmeal right there. That's some pregnant joint. All right, you got it. Yo, all I'm saying is this, Vinny. Shout out to you, man. You very special. Apparently, Ruby's well. Uh, you guys like warm syrup, but that's probably why I forgot them. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably yeah. why I forgot them. Damn. Warm milk with cereal. So Yo, it sound weird, right? Can you imagine a bubble guts after that? I'm good. I'm good. Woo! I'm good. Listen, I'm a Captain Crunch. Uh, I'm a Captain Ruby, Crunch kind of guy. I will never. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. I'm a, I'm a Captain Crunch, Frosted Flakes. You know, we should do that in one of the podcasts. We should legit do a cereal tier list. Like, legit. We'll have to have Moons on the show for that, too. Okay, he can be the guest. Shout the guest. out to Moons. My man Moons is a cereal monster. We can fuck, we can fuck with Moons. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, so you know what we do next time? We'll actually have these cereals lined up. What you said? Microwave right there. I said we're going to use the microwave. We're going to use the microwave. Right. We got a microwave right there. I'm not trying no warm milk and no Rick, cereal. Warm up the milk. Oh, you gonna eat it? I'm not gonna eat it. So yeah, we're not yeah, eating I'm it. I'm not eating it either. The hell? All right, so we'll have I ain't eating that we'll shit. Right what does it do though? What you mean? Well, I want to understand why you got this. You, <laughs> you see how far? <laughs> you see how far fetched the shit sound though? The fact that they, they don't. We yes. talk about warm milk. Now, mind you, we you drank warm milk when we was young anyway. But the shit don't really stick with cereal. No. It don't stick with cereal. But don't get me wrong. I'm curious. Just one bowl. I, you know what? I was curious and I didn't even try. But you know what? If you want to do me the, fi- the, the solid, what's fire? Yeah. My man said cho- hot chocolate milk cereal. Wow. That don't sound... Nah, nah that sounds bad. That sounds bad. Does it? I got to see it. I ain't going to lie. That sounds kind of interesting. I'm good. I'm good on you that. You good? I, and I love chocolate. And I love hot chocolate. All right, so that's not the subject. We ain't talking about it. It's I over. am not doing it's that over. in no cereal. I got to get to know you, Mavuri. That, that's different. I didn't think there was going to be somebody in this room agreeing so the, with that so shit, the, though. The that's milk, the funny part. My thing is the, the milk, was the bowl was smoking when you had the Fruit Loops in there. It was smoking and everything. It's just warm. Yeah. Oh, that steam was coming out. That's what happened with Vanille. Vanille came out with oh, the Oh, yeah. Vanille was smoking. My man was all freaking mad polite talking about and we just see the freaking smoke come out that shit. We like, what the f- man? But like, we like, what the fuck? But anyway, that's when I really got to know Vanille. And mind you, I heard legends of this shit. I ain't think it was for real. Yeah. Yo, the guys. Yo, so shout outs to Summit of Power. Beyond the Summit period, these guys literally in detail will follow you around <laughs> to see what it is to be in the days, uh, the, the 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 life and times of whoever it is that they follow. And in that case, Vanille. And the guy was actually microwaving milk on stream. He was. He was. he was. Remember, we was talking about a match. I remember there was a match going on. We stopped talking about it just to see what Vinny was doing. Yeah. So, yo, Vinny, what you doing? He's like, yeah, I'm warming my cereal. You're dead to me. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, so moving, so moving forward, of course, Hook Gang won that tournament, uh-huh. right? And that's when we started seeing the meta really open up. And then we started a little seeing a hint of Kazunoko there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But obviously, you already knew who the killers was. Like, yeah. Everybody in that house was a killer. But obviously, uh, anything that's on paper speaks. Nowadays, unfortunately, you know, nobody really looks at the skill of things because everybody wants to look at results. You know, me and Chris Matrix, uh, I wouldn't say we're too vintage, but we actually respect skill a lot. So we do a lot Same of things time. when it comes to uh, the long sets or whatever, because tournaments, two out of threes, you know, at there's a, a lot of variables. There's a lot, you know, of, variables. There's a lot of variables. And that's one thing I do like about Dragon Ball Fighters. We was talking about <laughs> that in the car, that uh, a random scrub can't just come and beat a professional. No, game. no, not that's in that one game. thing that I will give mm-hmm. about Dragon Ball Fighters. This guy, like a random scrub, can't come in. No disrespect to the random scrub. But, you know, we respect skill. Yeah. So the fact that a, a random scrum can't just come in and beat a, a Hook and God or a Sonic Fox or yeah, a Dugora, it's, it, yeah, it's hard. Dude. That shows a lot. You know what I'm saying? That. Because that game, you need a shitload of awareness. Like, you need to wipe your ass, catch the ball. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You got to pay your bills all at the same time. Yeah. I'm just exaggerating. But you get what I'm saying. You just got to be that aware of what's going on in that game to actually be a professional. But anyway, moving on to CEO, Kazunoko wins. Mm-hmm. And that's when we really started, started seeing the strength of the Yamcha assist. And it's funny because a lot of people wasn't even picking Yamcha at the time. Because right. obviously, Yamcha was the joke of the town. Obviously, the Cybermen. Who got second that tournament? Uh, Goichi. Okay. Goichi. Goichi got second. Uh, uh, Goichi, yes. Goichi got second that tournament, yes. I forgot who got third. I think it was Fenrich. I think it was Fenrich because that's when the clashes was happening. Where was Fox? I think he got fifth. Okay. Fourth or fifth? I know he got fourth or fifth. He didn't win. Right, right. He didn't right, win he didn't at the win. end of the day. And he's used to winning. He didn't win. He didn't win. You know what I'm saying? So moving forward, uh, I think what was the next tournament after that? I think it was versus fighting. I don't know which one was it that Hook, uh, it was Sonic Fox. He won a, he won a Dragon Ball finally. And then Hook Gengar won a Dragon Ball finally. Mm-hmm. 
It was two tournaments. I think it was versus. I forgot the other one. Goichi won one finally. Fox, Goichi, um, Hook. Then, then, then I think Kazunoko went on his tear. Right. That's when he won. Woo! What, three or four? He won God four. Damn. Yeah, he won four Dragon Balls. Yeah. Yo, let me tell you something. So obviously, okay. So we just named the the, the winners of the, and you know, I guess Kazunoko made this job a little easier because he won four Dragon Balls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying the whole premises of the World Tour was. <clears throat> All the Dragon Balls are spread out. Whoever wins a Dragon Ball gets qualified for the World Tour Finals. And then obviously, if there's one, there's, if there's a person that collects all seven Dragon Balls, they will end up in the Grand Finals automatically. Like you're in the finals. You get all seven, you're in the finals already. And look, yeah. Kazunoko was literally the closest one, which he got four Dragon Balls. Now check this out, though. So That's I was crazy. So I was there in the World Tour Finals, right? We was there for rehearsals. Um, on the bottom floor. There was the cases of the Dragon Balls, right? So obviously you had one case you had uh, just for Goichi, Sanifak, and Hugega. They had a separate case for them, and it was all together in the in the case, right? And they had their name and the you know the number of the Dragon Ball that was mm -hmm. in or whatever. Bro, they had a box just for Kazunoko. <laughs> they had a, a a trophy case with just Kazunoko. It was freaking. All of them had the names on it. All of them had Kazunoko's name on. It. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, fast forward, of course. Uh, you know, and it's funny because the game is evolving as it, uh, as, as it goes, as we get closer and closer to the World Finals. You know what I mean? Obviously, we get to Evo. Mm -hmm. Sonic Fox wins, right? Now, this is when it gets interesting when it comes to any fighting game, period. Right? Especially when there's so many countries, so many people involved, right? Obviously, right now, the Japanese are the strongest players. Yep. And Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, you already saw the, as the end result. As a whole, yeah. As a whole, you saw the results. These guys are the best in the business, like hands down. And that's right. and, and you know I love the dramatic effect when it comes to that because I really do want America to reign supreme. Obviously, of course, I want a Dominican to win. That's just me. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But we ain't handled no Dominicans. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was not in, in play. You know what I'm saying there was in a different game. There was in Street Fighter. There wasn't in Dragon Ball. You know what I'm saying, and that makes sense. Dominicans they more tuned to the Street Fighter kind of thing. Mortal Kombat especially. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, uh, we had no Dominicans in the Dragon Ball. Damn, you see, I'm just so salty saying that shit. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> anyway, Japanese, top of the food chain. Uh, I guess then comes America, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Turn the results, America? Yeah. 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 America. Sonic well, Fox. But obviously, when you get to the world stage in uh, Evolution, which is, of course, in the Mandalay Bay in Vegas every year, you know what I'm saying? They usually be in, in, in random big hotels, you know, like the Red Roof, the stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? No, not Red Roof. Uh, what was that one joint? After the... The Rio? The Rio. There you go. Yeah. The uh, Green Valley, whatever. <clears throat> but, you know, now they made their staple where it's now in the Mandalay Bay officially. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's when everybody comes to play. You know what I'm saying? So when you see a guy like Sonic Fox, of course, and shout outs to Super Noon. Shout outs to Kami. Uh, no Kami. The only Americans that was in the top eight, you know what I'm saying? Big shout outs to Super Noon and Kami. I kind of seen Super Noon make it in there because he's right. pretty, he's pretty fire. He's one of the best players we got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so is no Kami. No, 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 no Kami. Kami is, I always knew he was godlike, yeah. but I ain't gonna lie, cause mind you, I was uh, commentating multiple games that weekend, so I wasn't keeping an eye on all of Dragon Ball. Right. So when I found out no Kami was in top eight, I'm like, oh shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We got I, a nice first, little bunch of people in here. I first seen no Kami at, um, I want to say Defender North, and I didn't know who he was. I, you know, I played him a couple casual games, so. No, he cooked, Actually, my, he yeah. cooked my shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he cooked my shit. But, but he he had a great showing there too, and I was like, damn, this guy's really good. I mean, yeah. like, he's really, really good. He's so fundamentally sound. He has a good understanding of the game. You know, what I mean, his training methods are on point. You know, what I mean, like, he he's good with multiple characters. This guy is the real deal, right. definitely. All right, so um, yeah, evolution. Sonic Fox wins. Now, mind you, I wouldn't say that I'm surprised, but I'm also I'm surprised with his character selection. He has Zamatsu, Bardock, Android 16. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to rock that. I never even knew he had a Zamatsu. He won the tournament. Right. But it's funny, though, that the night before, he played Goichi in a, was it, first of seven? Oh, for, no, it was the first of five, first of seven. I don't know, but it was in the esports arena. That's when we did the three, the fatal three-way. The first five. First it was five. first of five, right? Yeah. And they played a set. This See, that's what I love about the players in Dragon Ball Fighters. These guys do not freaking sandbag no 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 these no, guys they don't, don't sandbag they don't ban sand no, there's, like mm -hmm. mind you these guys already qualified for the top eight knowing that these guys are probably gonna bump into each other these exactly. guys still play the set first of five in the luxor Pick, picking Arena, real shit and everything picking all of their shit playing serious playing for real every yeah and, and you know what I'm saying? A lot of respect for each other. You know what I'm saying? And I think Goichi won that one, actually. Yeah. He did win that one again. So he's, I, if, if we're going to have to throw it out there, in terms of sets, he's 3 0 against Sonic Fox. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, I mean, it means a lot, but when, it talk, when you talk about making it count, it's on paper when it comes to tournament. You know what I'm saying? 
And Sonic Fox is just looking outstanding on paper. Even though he didn't win the World <clears throat> Fighters Tournament, but he's outstanding on paper, which no doubt in my mind, he's definitely the top three because I cannot take that away from Kazunoko. He is the world's best right now. And that's just a fact. Hands there was, down. There was a debate. Like, no, no, no debating. No, no, there was a debate before that. Before the actual win. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah there no, was no, a, no, 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 no. Post, post the, the Dragon Ball wins? There was a debate? No, no, before the Dragon Ball World Finals, we was like, who is the best? Kazunoko Sonic 5. And then... Oh, we, no, 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 We no, couldn't no, even... No. Throw, yeah, there was a debate. There's no debate. There was no debate. Yes, there was. First of all, you got an EVO champion. You got a Dragon Ball. Kazunoko, yeah, granted, he won a lot of majors. You know what I'm saying? He got four Dragon Balls. Cool. But no doubt in my mind, Sonic Fox was the best. We're talking on paper. We're talking about paper. I'm not even talking about collecting the Dragon Ball. We're talking about on paper, Sonic Fox was looking the cleanest. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Now, see, that's what I'm everybody saying. It's a debate. Say, everybody, but that's what everybody, I'm saying. everybody I spoke to, they were saying that um, Kazudoko was the best. But see, there's a little biasness in that because there's already that mentality that Japanese players are stronger anyway. No, 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 no. Before Kazudoko started winning, it was a consensus. Once Sonic Fox started beating Goichi, Sonic Fox was the best because he was the only one beating the Japanese consistently. But then, but then, all right, but take, but, but take this into consideration. They played in a uh, Canada Cup and Sonic Fox beat Kazunoko in the finals. True. All right, then. You know what I'm saying? And that, was a, and that was a radar event. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he beat him. So now that's what I'm saying. It's debatable. There was no clean cut. It was just debatable. We didn't know who exactly was the best. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you got the world champion, Sonic Fox. And then he, pretty much, you know, you win a world championship, but, you know, in the mind of a competitor, like, man, I got to defend my shit no matter where I go. It could be in a freaking backyard. They're going to defend it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he beat Kazunoko at Canada yeah. Cup. I was there for that. You know what I'm saying? He beat him. Then here comes Dragon Ball uh, World Finals, and Kazunoko smoked all the best players under one roof. You know what I'm saying? And Won the shit. He won the shit. You seen the trophy you won? Yeah, yeah. It's Shenron, bro. Yeah. It's the, Shenron. He's the one. He's the man. But, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to lie, though. Uh, his team really didn't get altered too much. I will say this about Goichi and Fenrich. They had to deal with a lot of changes. Not necessarily, I'm not going to say changes for for, the, for bad or I, good. And that's why I like Fenrich. But they, they had to deal with a lot of changes, a lot of adjusting. I mean, Goichi was playing... Freaking Captain Ginyu at one point, he was he, he touched some Team Gohan. He he was all over the place, soul searching. I mean, because his teams kept getting changed, things kept getting nerf buffed. Same thing with Dagora. Sonic Fox was going through some teams. My man had Beerus at one point. He was rocking hard body again. Then he went back to hit. So, you know, what I mean, like uh, Kazunoko, he really didn't have to deal with too many changes. You know what I mean? Like he. He had to just make like slight adjustments, but Gotenks been cheap. He always been cheap, but he remained cheap. Um, I don't Gohan know what's going on with y'all over there. I don't know why, but you know what? Not complaining. And now, and now, you know what? Not even a touch. Continue. 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 <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Gohan top tier all day. You know what I mean? And like his team just stayed intact. Yamcha was always, always pretty good. I mean, he's not god tier, but you know he was serviceable. When I think of Yamcha, I think Cybermen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that, that's why we were so ignorant to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but all in all, like, I, I, he didn't, you know what I mean? He didn't really have to make too many adjustments to his game or his team. And I'm not going to necessarily hold that against him. But, I mean, Goichi and Sonic Fox, they did have to deal with a lot of that. They did have more than enough time to, you know, sharpen up whatever team they had to use and everything. But, I mean, listen, we, we, we know how to go tanks. That goes okay. It's kind of I mean, at the end of the day... The man finished the job. The plate was finished. And Kazunoko is your best player right now for Dragon Ball Fighter Season 1. Season 1. Now, here comes Season 2. We just got Jiren. We got Jiren and Videl in the mix. And I know we got uh, we got Broly coming in for the, from, the, from the Broly movie. So now that he's canon. So Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, though, before we even go to Season 2. Alan. So with everything said and done right now at, like, towards the end of Season 1, where are you at as far as, like, characters balance and, and, and things of that nature like do you think it do you think the game was decent balance do, do you think somebody needs to be nerfed more characters need to get buffed before the patch the, the patch came out what changes would you have made um <clears throat> i'm gonna be honest uh the game is balanced as is the funny the the funny part about it was that they left certain characters untouched that's the only problem that i had like who? like no frills yeah no frills all day talk about it go text Gotenks, definitely one of those characters. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I would have to say that's it. I would why, have to say that's it. Why you don't do squats? I know. You tell me. 
You got I, a character that do squats. I don't. I don't experience I that. That's I, you. I, I know. I know. I don't. I don't you, let them, you let them. You let, you let them know your frustrations. Why he don't do squats? Now mind you, I, I think I have something to talk about, but I gotta play the game first. Can, can I ask you a question? Was Team Gohan winning though? I'm salty right now. This is Chris Matrix salty segment. Was Team Gohan winning? So was he cheaping people out? Just answer the question. Was he cheaping people out? Yikes. Was Team Gohan cooking up? Yeah, I was cheaping me out. How many? Yo, how many top eights have we seen Team Gohan in? None. Okay. No, no, Actually, no, no, there was one. 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 I know Kaimar. Kaimar. Yeah, Kaimar. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Kaimar, Japan. Uh, of course, Kaimar. Right. Especially in the invitation. All Chris G got one. Now, does Sonic Fox play cheap characters? Facts. The only character I didn't, I never seen Sonic Fox even touch was Team Gohan. He said he sucked from the rip. Remember? Exactly. Nah, nah let me tell so you. What, why, so why did they make drastic changes to my character? Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is how I know a lot. Like of the he was cooking. Yo, I got people. My dude. I got people DMing me. Like, yo, Chris, what you do to piss off man like Namco, man? Why they did that to Team Gohan? People that don't even play the character. They're like, yo, what happened to him? I show what happened to him. Like, oh my gosh, what is that? All right, so let me tell you this, though. Let me tell you this. So first and foremost, uh, Sound Up, I said the character was whack. Right. Right? A lot of players did not play the character. Now, mind you, in, in this world of, of fighting games, people go by what other people say a lot mm -hmm. before they even before they even go mm -hmm. and actually do homework themselves. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, man, this character sucks. They didn't even touch the character, see this shit in a high level. They're just going to go by the opinion of somebody else. Mm -hmm. And that's the majority. I'm not saying everybody. That, is, majority. The majority. that is the majority. That is the majority. That is the majority. You know what I'm saying? And they don't do their homework. Mm -hmm. As soon as people heard, somebody just whispered in the ear, yo, take on, got bugged. Oh my God, he's so strong now. Yes. Be like, yo, he's so strong now. But they literally they ain't do shit to the character. No, they didn't. All he they got, did was he, that he could dash after the bomb. Yeah. And that was it. That's literally it. But, but he was literally people, the same character. Think he got he, but that wasn't even a buff. He just, he he just got it was neutral because they gave him that, but then they gave him lander recovery on on the bombs. So it's not like he had a real high low mix. It was just high. So he kind of just stayed the same. I wasn't complaining. I was happy with that version. Shout out to Dominion. Me and him, we know how good the character was. The character was like oh, high I know mid. How good, I know how good the character was. Oh yeah, yeah. Was. High mid, high mid, low top tier. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm the I'm the the person in the world that know that much of the most. Yeah, facts. I know I know Tingo on the most. And, and Goichi said he was good too, but for some reason, actually Goichi said he was up there. He was yeah. like A plus. I think he said. Yeah. He said he was A plus. Yeah. Some reason they felt need to change him. You know what I mean? I had. People ready to play Team Gohan. People talk about they want to join the TGA. TGA Army, TGA Army, yeah. Team Gohan Army, you know what I mean? Like, but what what happened? Like, I don't get it. Shout out to my good guys at the, at the Team Gohan Discords, man. We shared a lot of tech. We had everybody that was responsible for different things. We had a well-oiled Team Gohan machine. Anybody that needed to know any piece of information regarding this character, you could have went there. Yeah, there that was so much was organization that there, bro. Was it definitely and was. now that the one change just threw everything out the window. I'm talking about, I had cats in there talking about, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going back to this game. <laughs> Dudes is out because they don't want to deal with the fact that he's doing squat because that just messed up the whole meta that people spent like eight to ten months like trying to construct with the character, which sucks. But you know what? My rant is over. But you I know, to it's okay. It's get it off your chest, baby. No it's, frills. It's, it's off my chest. No frills. You good? It's, I'm good, baby. I'm so coming no, so, back season so, two. I'm so, coming back. So no more diamond crystals. You good? I'm good. All right. I'm good. All right. You know they ain't do nothing to Gohan, though, right? I know, but you know. So, it you is, got, so, so that means you're gonna play with the squats. That's what you're saying. Or I, you got, got, I got no choice, baby. So that means you're gonna stay with the squad. We got. I just have to stay with my exact squad. I'm feeling some jeering. No frills. No frills. I'm feeling some jeering. No frills. Listen, anyway, listen, shout, anyway. I like Goku Black too, but they. Yeah, yo, I hear you. I hear you. Them, yeah, I hear you. Yo, I hear you. Yo, yo, they killed them. Yeah, I hear you. I hear yo, you. Goku Black. I was, I was okay with Goku Black in uh -huh. the pre patch. Uh huh. He was cool to me. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. Get, get, uh, name every anybody in the top eight in Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour that was a Goku Black. I, I wait. You said in the World Tour. Dragon Ball Finals. Oh, the Finals. World Tour Finals. Oh, the Finals. Oh no no no, that was different. But we seen no Kami at Evo. Oh okay. And we seen no Kami make those comebacks at uh, what's it also? Yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. So yeah, it, it yeah. was it was pop. He was popping. Okay. He was popping. Cool cool. All right. So anyway, moving forward. Mm. So just to answer your question, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the guy to really ask that question to. For the simple fact that... No, no, that you can't. You, you, you play the game. No, I play the game. No, I'm talking and about... You, you understand the game, man. I do, I do, I do. Spit. I do. I'm going to tell you what it is. In my opinion, it don't affect me because I don't have no emotional attachments to characters. 
Facts. I don't. ISCX does not have don't. emotional attachment. If there's one character. character I have emotional attachment with right now, right now, currently, yeah, would be Android 18. I love her. Tyra Banks, she look nice. Big forehead all. I like her. She's okay. nice. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? She nice. I, I, I mess with her heavy. Mm-hmm. But you know damn well if they scratch that armor, I am gone. <laughs> And she don't got neutral as is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She don't got it like that like everybody else. Let me not say she don't got neutral. She got it. You know what I'm saying? It's but anyway, right. moving forward into season two, I am very excited to see what brings to the table because obviously this was uh, season was the, was the introduction mm-hmm. to the game. And, you know, now we got all these characters coming out. Like I said, we got Jiren and Videl that just got released. And then we got uh, Super Saiyan uh, Blue Gogeta. Mm-hmm. In there. Just go G the period. He's in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so and, uh, happy he's canon now. And, and Canon Broly is in there as right. well. So I'm very excited for that. And then I'm obviously that's that's not gonna be the only characters. I remember when they showed the trailer, there was three question marks still involved. Right. Two or three. I think it was two or three. I'm not too sure. That's crazy. I forgot. I was dead. But two or three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, question marks. And then uh, we're gonna find out exactly who it is. I hope it's Master Roshi with a jetpack. That's just me. Man. I'll, I'll fuck with Master Roshi, B. Fuck Master Roshi, I'll, man. Get the fuck out of it, bro. They need some, yo, listen. Bring listen, my girl. Get, bring Khalifla back in here. Uh, more females, I'm with that. Yeah, more, man. More female or, representation. or even Kefla. I'll take, I'll take Kefla that. or Khalifla. They can have right. Kefla. They can have her. They can, just, they can. Give me, just give me Master Roshi with a jetpack, man. I said, man, it's a Master Roshi. No. No. No? No. You know, I like the fact that they kept it real in terms of the characters that could reflect the stuff. So apparently Videl, she has a dodge. Yeah. She don't have a reflect. That'd be that'd be realistic. Who the hell? Yeah. Imagine, imagine uh somebody does a wake up level three with Cell and then Videl's reflecting the shit. Uh no, man. Uh no. Man, she was getting even though her Krillin shit could do it though, even though it's Bobovich and Yambu, man. Even, even though with the M's on their head. Bo, 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 bo. But even though Krillin can't fuck with Cell, he was still reflecting though. He could reflect though. A level Kr- three on Wake Up? Krilla could reflect. He could reflect. Not he a level parry. three. Not he a, parry. Not a... <sighs> Man. Not that one. But who... Nah, he could do it. He could do it. I got faith in Krilla. I don't. But anyway, let's move forward. <laughs> anyway, so season two, we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, I'm pretty sure... Look, that, that, I'm just assuming that the next World Tour will be announced maybe sometime before June. It's just me assuming based off what happened last year. So you know what I mean? Uh, just, to, just to sign off when it comes to Dragon Ball Fighters, because we got one more game we're going to talk about, and we're going to keep it a little short and clean, but a little bit uncut. Me and Chris Mace is actually talking about that in the car, but let me just finish off with this Dragon Ball Fighters thing. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, mm. You know, just to touch off, just to touch base, I'm very excited that a lot of communities came together to play Dragon Ball Fighters. You know what I'm saying? We've seen Tekken players, we've seen Marvel players, we've seen Injustice players, MKX players. Everybody came together to play that game. I'm saying, and it can only get better from here. This is all I ask from the fans. Stop complaining so much. We, obviously, we don't have too much of the power to talk about what we can fix and whatnot, but we do have a voice, and they are listening. But don't complain. Let's just come together like butt cheeks mm-hmm. and really talk about how we can move forward with this game and how we can, and we can fix it. Because at the end of the day, yes, we don't have the power to just switch on a drop of a dime. How are we going to fix? What are we going to fix? But we have a voice. And we could come together and we could get it going. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it. You know, a lot of people was complaining about Team Gohan. They was actually responding. Oh, yeah, yeah. We came together. Uh, we signed petitions. And uh, we sent letters. And, and it's, it's crazy because our Arc System Bandai Namco also. Right. They actually asked for more people to come forward, you know, with, uh, with uh, letters and emails, you know, stating how we felt about the situation with Team Gohan because they, they really wanted the feedback. Yeah. They didn't do anything about it yet, but they listening. Yeah, they, they, they're definitely listening, and I mean, and they actually respond when you do email them, which is, which is a, right, a so, big step. So I got a theory. I, this is why I think characters get nerfed. I don't even think it's the tournament results or the players. <clears throat> I feel like there's a group of people that's having sessions in in Bandai testers. Namco testers, testers, where they're playing each other and they're like getting smoked. For example, there's probably a team Gohan player that's right. one of the t- testers, and they and one of the guys that was playing them. Probably got salty. Was like, yo, I don't like getting leg loop like that all day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm gonna nerf. I'm gonna give him some recovery. You and you know, and, 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 then, and then you know, as a tester, they probably like, well, if I'm having a bad time with this, maybe they will have a bad time with it. Exactly. This. You know, this is just me assuming, obviously. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. that's just a theory that I have. I feel like it's amongst themselves where they just cheaping each other out. They're like, nah, nah, we gotta dead this. We gotta dead this. That's just a theory that might be true. Who knows? But you know what? I am looking forward to some season two Dragon Ball Fighters, and just to end. On that note, more road dogs on the world tour, please. Oh yeah. Please. Like, come on. Just, just, just give it to us. The duo. 
Road Dogs, please, we here. Stop playing with us. Don't make us do a petition. <laughs> anyway, moving forward, uh, we just had a, success, a, a successful event with uh, Battle of the Strongest 2. Yes, indeedy. We had a successful event. We actually literally did that on a whim in a, in a case that uh, we just one day said, hey, guys, how about we do Battle of the Strongest 2? Now, mind you, what's so godlike about this, right, is... You guys was beefing in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, That's let what me, made it. Go ahead, like, baby. Talk, let, talk, let, talk, me, talk. let me tell them how, how you know that exactly you know came what? about. Before you even continue, I'll be the guy asking you questions. So go ahead. You got the law. Go ahead. Flo no yours. Problem. So Battle of the Strongest 2 came about because myself, G Concepts, Josh Wickfall, Desmond, Executioner, Pinkney, Blue Jay, um, Josh Lee 60 came in also, uh, Smooth Viper, uh, we were all talking in the chat, and uh, Mike Infinite. We were all talking in the chat, and uh, we were talking about, you know, us versus each other and who's better and this and that, and you know, and we basically couldn't come to an agreement on who was the best. So we we decided that, all right, so let's have a tournament. So now we said, no, nah, by a tournament, like you know, A could beat B, but B may not be able to beat C. So. You know what I mean? Like, that's not going to prove anything. So we said, you know what? So let's make it a round robin style. So with a round robin style, everybody had to play everybody. And that way we could see, like, okay, whoever's going to accumulate the most wins here is obviously going to be the, the, the top dog. So it started out as it was a lot of trash talk in, the, in, our, in our group message, man. A lot of trash talk. I mean, a lot. And then we decided to, you know, just make it a little bigger we didn't think uh it was gonna get as big as it did you know what i mean we definitely attracted a, a huge audience um i'm just happy that so many people out there can appreciate mvc2 even even people that don't play but they can still be entertained by it you know even not at its highest level meaning like you know like the best players in the world like you know the the titans uh justin sanford the apes you know can watching those guys and, and Duck, watching those guys, you know, watching us play at a, a particularly high level and still enjoy the game as much as they did. But um, like I said, uh, it was a very successful event. It was fun. We yeah. had, we had uh, you know, a lot of interesting stretch because I was singing cartoon songs on there. And, you know, I ate a worm just, on stream. He did, he did. He did eat the worm from the tequila bottle. And it was, it was awesome. So I'm glad that, you know, we can showcase the game that we love and we've always loved on a level where everybody else can enjoy it also. You know what I mean? And that that led me to also come up with the Chris Mace's Rising Stars Challenge where I'm given an opportunity for new players to play the game and compete against each other, you know, mm. to, see who, to see who will rise up and, you know, just so that they can get into the game and actually have fun because if they compete against experienced players, they're not going to have fun. But if they're competing against each other, everybody's learning at the same time. And, you know, it, just, it, it makes it more interesting and more fair. And then you can discover your own love for the game. You know what I mean? Like, you can watch a game and you can like it, but uh, you have a different appreciation for it when you play it yourself and then you watch it at a high level. Nice. See, me playing Dragon Ball Fighters and watching Sonic Fox play, that actually gave me, like, a different sense of awe from it as if I didn't play the game and I was just watching with a naked eye. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, definitely some things coming down in the pipeline for MVC2. Um, shout out to uh, Battle for the East. They got uh, a lot of tournaments going on, a lot of games going on there at that tournament. You know, Dragon Ball Fighters, Street Fighter V, Soul Calibur, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 will be in that tournament. That's going to be October, and that's going to be in a uh, showboat in Atlantic City. Uh, uh, I will be there in uh, full attendance. Yeah, that, that's popping right I'm there. I'm trying to leave with, 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 with no depths <laughs> yes. over there. Oh, yeah. But um, oh yeah. But um, like I said, um, yeah, that's coming February twenty second. The Rising Stars Challenge. Um, you know we do we do still stream. We do play because it's the game we love. Right. Um, I'm, I'm getting back into Dragon Ball Fighter, so we're gonna be streaming a lot of that too. Yeah, and myself, we'll, we will be playing. Um, um Dominion's gonna be coming back, and uh, we're definitely gonna be streaming more MVC two coming down the line to tell you some more stuff. But um. I gotta address somebody in MVC two. Before, um, before we do that, yeah, you know, before we do before that, we, we, do we, that. we are gonna take a two minute break. But just know, we about to air out somebody called Neo. Uh, Neo, 
the person that Eric Royal shouted out at the end of Battle of the Strongest 2. Uh, we about to put you on blast right now because you made some statements that were very fraudulent. They weren't very factual, so we about to put you on blast. But we're going to give you all of that no after frills. this two-minute break. No you frills. already know. What's going on? We back. No Frills 2019, the podcast that everybody wanted to see. The legendary road dogs here. IFC Apes, Chris Matrix, back at it. Now, we just left off with our MVC2 segment, um, and I said I, I wanted to address some issues from uh, a certain Marvel player named Neo. So apparently Neo has made a few uh, statements on a certain podcast, and uh, I'm not sure they were too factual, so we're gonna we're gonna address that. We're gonna respond shout to out, that. Shout out to Cross Count, of course, Gutex. And uh, we're gonna definitely set the record straight on a lot of things. So, mm-hmm. IFC Apes. What's up, baby? What was said? So basically, I mean, you know how Battle of the Strongest Two finished. Uh, of course, you already saw who the victor was with Smooth Viper, and he had some words to say. You know what I'm saying, obviously, he popped off to Neo. He wanna. If you want to play them in a set for whatever amount they want to talk about, Monopoly Bucks, whatever it is, packs of ramen, I don't know what the hell they're playing for, but they want to play for, they want to play each other. Well, well in this case, uh, Eric wants to play them in a set. He called them out with some vicious words. He said some wild shit, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, he did. So it is what it is. But uh, basically, Neil got on record on Cross Counter pretty much apparently talking about the facts on, you know, who belongs in the top eight. Uh, his record, uh, who he feels like he can be, this, this, and the third. And you know, I like that he spoke about that he's a lawyer. You know, big shout out to Abraham Sotelo. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. man just finished the ball. He, he actually passed the ball exam in California. Shout out to him. Congratulations. Congratulations. And he actually is an, a lawyer officially. He can actually get moving to the point where he want to get comfortable where he want to get at. But then what I didn't like about what he said was, he said, well, since I'm a lawyer, all I could speak on is facts. And mm. quite frankly, a couple of things that he said is not factual. Okay. So, you know. Well, let's go into detail. This is no frills. No frills. Go down the line. So he said uh, he belongs in the top eight of all time. He said he belongs in the top eight of all time. Based on what he's done in a short amount of time and... Apparently, the people he could beat in that top eight. Okay, okay. All right, hold on. So, Neo feels he belongs in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. All top time. Eight this is opinion. Time. This is opinion. All right, let me, let me, let me explain to you. First, first, let's, let's bring out the, the game in its, in, in, in its prime season. All right, I came, I came on the scene. Everybody had been playing for three years already. So I think by three years, all the top tiers were already hashed out. Everybody was picking top tier teams. So I came on right at the end of 2002. That's when Justin had defeated Rotron at Evolution. So my career basically started around 2003. So we'll say the lifespan of 2003 to 2010. So to be in in his top eight of all time, and I'm going to give you my list of top ten of all time, but to be in in this top eight of all time, that means that you had to be popping within that time frame. Now, in my opinion, I think Chaos is one of the, the, the greatest players I've ever seen. But on paper and with this time frame, no, he's not in that top 10 of all time list. Now, for Neo to say that he's in the top eight of all time. So listen, my top eight of all time. All right, no order, no order. Justin Wong, Sanford Kelly, IFC Yipes. Duck though. Chunkster. Chris Schmidt. That's six. That's already six. Okay. Eric. Um. Josh Wigfall. Mm-hmm. Desmond Pinkney. That's already how many I just named? So I said, um, Justin I think Wong, that was eight. You said Chris Schmidt at the at the Schmidt, you said yeah. uh Duck, Schmidt, Chunk, Wigfall, Desmond. That's already that's that's already a oh excuse me and smooth viper, so that's already nine people, and and it's and there's still more Rotron, like I said no order Rotron David Lee David Lee, so let me think here, I mean, let me ask you a question I have CA. so what's up brother, so for Neo to be in in this top eight. Let's see if he's did anything or accomplished anything that these play that 
anything that that has more value than what these players did. We're not even gonna talk about the. We're gonna we're gonna completely exclude the players that actually won Evo. Okay. That's you, Justin Sanford, and and, and Duck Doe. Yes. So we don't, we don't even gotta touch on that because he's never won an Evo. Has Neo cracked an Evo top eight? That oh. was that was a relevant Evo. That was relevant. Yes, a Dreamcast top eight, arcade to Dreamcast top eight. 2010 is like when a game table over was on PS3. We'll kind of count it, but. I'm going to have to say, if we're talking on paper, since I guess we want to talk about facts. Facts. Yes, he made Evo Top 8 2010. 2010, P3. Yes. That was the last uh, This that was the last uh, Marvel 2 tournament. That was the year where everybody was complaining that it's not on Dreamcast. But since it was Marvel, it was Marvel. We let it rock anyway. Right. I wasn't really complaining, but that was the first time I played on a TE stick. Yeah. Like, so it's like, it's like a little thing for a lot of people. Yeah. For a lot of people, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, okay. So disrespectful for Neo to put himself above Chunkster who got second place at Evolution twice during the, during the game's prime and with everybody in, in the tournament. Chris Schmidt has made several top eights, won a season's beatings, got second out of season's beatings. Uh, Eric Arroyo, multiple top eights at Evolution. Rotron, Rodolfo Castro, who was considered the best player in the game during his prime until Justin finally did beat Finally did beat him at um, ECC7, mm -hmm. I want to say. But pound for pound, he was considered the best. Um, Desmond and, and Wickfall, like, they're, they're, I, I, I have their accomplishments down. Desmond has, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the facts. I want to give you guys the facts. And I want to see if Neo has any anything on these guys' accolades right here, all right? Bear with me, y'all. Give me, give, me give me a quick sec. Josh Wickfall, first place at final round, third at final round, second at ECC, fifth at EC, two ECCs, first at Texas Showdown, second at Midwest Championships, third at Midwest Championships, seventh and eighth at EVO. Neo doesn't even, his, his resume doesn't even come close to that. Desmond Pinckney, third place at EVO, second at Midwest Championships, third place at Season Beaters Redemption. Once again, Neo's resume does not even come close to that. Okay, let's let's look at some uh, not not notable no notable accomplishments that that Neo's done. Okay, okay. So, so mind you, before you explain, so for people that don't know, Neo he's a very avid uh, supporter of the Marvel scene. Uh, they call him the Golden Boy Neo. Uh, very skillful in his own right, in in a sense of the way he plays. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, you know, just to touch up on certain... Neo is solid at best. Okay, okay. Neo solid at best. Now, he came in the game a little late, right? But uh, he's trying to solidify his placing in the top eight based on what he's done in a small amount of time. Which I find is, is extremely disrespectful for the people who put in that work time after time of end with that longevity. And then, you know what? And listen, and before we continue, obviously this is the No Frills podcast. I don't want people to think that we beef it with the kid or whatever the case is. This is all competitive nature. We just talk it smack and we taking it straight to them in a sense of a competitive nature. So I don't want to hear no bullshit about, oh, these guys are cracking on it. This yeah. and the third. We are like talking that. straight factuals. Because apparently, you know, he is a lawyer. That is a fact. Right. But... And I'm actually, I'm actually very cool with Neil. You know I mean? Yeah, like, Neil's the homie. That's my dude. Exactly. That's my dude. That's Latino Heat. I fuck with him heavy. But, but we uh, spit, we, this is the, we spit in facts right it's here. It's Marvel 2. It's Marvel 2. Exactly. It's, it's some different shit. It's some different breeze shit. This ain't no other games. It's Marvel 2. It's different. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm I'm a little disappointed in the sense that he tried to back his claim that it's facts due to the fact that he's a lawyer. And he said because he's a lawyer, all he because he's a lawyer, he knows how to talk about the facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. That's boss. But... You wasn't talking about the facts. So continuing on. Exactly. So okay. So like like, like I said, we're basing he he's basing his talk his placement in all time based on what he has done. And now we're about to talk about his accomplishments. Please. Right. And now continue. Like I said, and and this is not my opinion. This is what people look at. Right. You know what I mean? This is how people rate players. Justin is considered the greatest of all time. Hundred percent. Because he went four to five years undefeated in tournament play. Facts. You know what I mean? So this is what the people go by. Neo's tournament track record at notable tournament where, where, the, where all the killers are at, you know what I mean, and, and the biggest stage, which was Evolution, he 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 wasn't around. 
So it is disrespectful to everyone else who was putting in that work for him to come on and come on late in the game and say, OK, let, let, let's talk about some of the names he beats. So uh, Rudy from Texas, the Texas and no disrespect to anybody on this list. Rudy from Texas, Dexterous, West Blockable Laser, Josh 360, G Concepts, Chaos, Clockwork, Black Wand. Now, out of that list, the only person who's gotten top eight at multiple evos was was, was Clockwork, and I'll, I'll I'll give him that. He did not. I'm sorry, just to correct you. Okay. Clockwork never has gotten a top eight at Evo other than 2010. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, excuse 2010. Me. So excuse me, he's 20 always ten. ninth, losing the Ninth, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, always yeah. lost Right yes. there, yeah. Throw it out there. He is, yes. But, but just, to, just, to, just to touch up on what she was trying to say is, the only notable person he was playing with at the time that was actually active was Clockwork. Exactly. Yes, yes. at that time in the prime. If you want to talk about anything yes. that he did in his prime, yes. definitely Clockwork was the guy that he played. Yes. Yeah, uh, when he, 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 beat, he beat Chaos before Chaos was actually as good as he is. Josh 360 is good, but he's not considered on on that greatest of all time list, and he knows there's no disrespect to him. Same for G Concepts, another another one that you know was late bloomer, late, late bloomer. Game, yeah. Even though he's played for a, while, a, a long exactly. time, late bloomer. But no, that doesn't take away from that from him, though. Nobody on this list can can even be in a conversation for greatest of all time top ten. So he beats Sue. Okay, he beats Sue Mighty. Sue Mighty, I I guess can. Be mentioned in, in the talks, but at the time, Sue Mighty was a lot of people say over the hill, washed up. Like I said, I don't want to downplay nothing. I'm not going to take nothing away from Neil's wins. He played who he played. He 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 beat who he beat. Has he challenged anybody that can smoke him? No. Okay. Do you want me to jump in on that? Yeah. All right. So, mind you guys, look. There's a couple of reasons why you're even mentioning this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't like hearing. Overconfidence with fraudulence at the same time. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying, if you know, it would have been one thing for him to be cocky and confident, which I respect that from any man, any mm -hmm. woman or man. You know what I'm saying they confident what they do, they do confident what they do. But I'm gonna have to say this man has never been in a situation where he really had a a challenge. Exactly. So, uh, and this is no disrespect to nobody on that list, but ain't nobody on that list fucking with me. Period. You know, and this ain't that, even that's a fact. This ain't even to be a a, a a jerk or nothing to be cocky. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I'm one of those damn dudes in this game, and that's just what it is. There's only three people that could defeat me in this game currently, which is Duck, Justin, Sanford. No one else stands a chance, and I'm gonna just throw that out there right there. So, with that being said, you know he runs off this track left record. He runs off of this, you know, undefeated streak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I respect it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, um, confident. You know what I'm saying? He beat mm -hmm. these guys. He did. He did beat these guys. Yes, I will he not did. I will not take that away from him. Yes, at he all. did. He did he he did he did beat these guys. But the fact that uh he boasts it up to the point where he kinda talking like he challenged the best. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, he's talking he's talking about he beat these guys as if these were the guys that were winning. Right, which was which was not the case at all. all right, so, so I feel like he's delusional. I mean, look, it's one thing to be confident, but it's one thing to be realistic. You know what I'm saying? So just to touch this up, right? Um, he named this top eight, whatever the case is, and you know when you're making your argument right now, why he's not the top eight? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's one thing to talk about that you could beat these guys because you know obviously he was naming you know. The, the, the three main heads, obviously, he put Justin at the over the top. You know, right. he had a little extra spice to it. He was like, you know what? You know, Justin is up here. I don't see how Sanford and Justin could touch that track record. This isn't a third. Sanford, could... Sanford and you. Yeah, me and yeah. Sanford talking about um, how we are on his level. Let me explain something to you, Neil. Just to throw this out there, okay? Um, when Justin was on the floor, and this is no disrespect to Justin Wong. He's one of the greatest of all time. I can never take shit away from him because all of his shit is cemented on paper. And I was one of those guys he beat to cement more shit on that paper. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is me being cocky. Now I'm going to talk about how, how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Justin Wong was on a four-win win streak. I wasn't there for that four-year four win streak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was definitely not there. Mind you, I had a, before I even had a talk to Justin and Sanford, I had a talk to Desmond and Josh before I even got to that level where I can actually compete with these guys. Mm -hmm. So I, knew, I know how it is to 
go from the lower ranks to the top to actually get that chance to contend with these top players. You know what I'm saying? Now, fortunately for me, uh, I, I bumped into Justin, um, Justin and Sanford. We're talking about Justin here. Justin specifically. Uh, when I got to that level, I actually had more chances to play this guy. And yes, I got my ass kicked by this guy. For, like, like about, I would have to say when I started getting in that level, he was smoking me for like a year straight. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yeah. This is correct, yeah. right? Obviously, I got to that point where I can actually start beating the guy. And you want to know why I started beating this guy, Neo? Because yes, I do respect how godlike of a player he is. But too much respect actually does not get you hungry. And that's just a fact. For the simple fact is this. You was on that podcast talking about, oh, he's one of the GOATs. I can't touch this guy. Boop, 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 whatever, whatever. Four-year streak. We know the obvious. There's no, there's nothing I could say right now that could take it away from Justin that he is a, a god in this game. He is. But guess what? There was only two people that was beating him. You know why? Because even though we respected this guy, we wasn't falling back and saying, oh, because he is the best, we're going to fall back and just pretty much take freaking shaft and balls from this guy. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. And mind you, I went the humble approach. I just kept playing until I kept getting those results. You know what I'm saying? Now, his argument is, because he won all of these tournaments, that we shouldn't even be acknowledged as Titans or guys. Let me explain something to you, Neil. I never gave that title to myself. It was the fans, the people that was avid watchers of the game and saw how it progressed in its prime, mm -hmm. and they gave us those titles. God's bleed, man. I beat Justin. Multiple times. I've beaten Sanford multiple times. Motherfuckers bleed, man. I bleed too. Motherfuckers can beat me. But the difference is that I was hungrier than everybody else besides Sanford. I'll never take nothing away from Sanford either. He was the first one that set that tone that said this guy could be beatable. You know what I'm saying? Yes, he did. And I will give that to Sanford Kelly. And he, and he accomplished it. And he accomplished it. Break you know point. what I'm saying? So, you know, for you to sit there and be like, yeah, he's the best. He is the best. You know what I'm saying? That just shows me that you laying on your back and you're not really hungry to actually have that thought of even beating the guy. I could be wrong here, but based on what you were saying on that podcast, it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the complete opposite. So, yeah, I agree. Justin Wong is one of the greatest of all time, but uh, we beat that guy multiple times. You can't say that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't say that. It's a privilege to know that I beat that guy because he was one of those, how would I say it? He was one of those goals, like, yo, if I want to get to that level, I got to beat that guy. I got to right. beat Sanford Kelly. You know what right. I'm saying? And for Neo to feel that Yipes and Sanford are not even in Justin's class, that's what's disrespectful. You know what I mean? There's le there's levels there's levels to this shit. You know what I mean? You can be great. Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. There are other players that are in his class. He's just at the top of that class. For Neo to feel Facts. that There's Justin no doubt is is like in a clear class of his own, no, that's that's just not factual. Yes, he's at the top of that class, in my opinion, but he's not he's he's not in a completely different class than just than uh, Yipes or Sanford, which which is why they have the success that they do, which is why they're former Evo champions, which is why there were there are only four Evolution champions in the history of the game when it was relevant. You know what I mean? So for you to feel, for you to feel that way, and and another statement that you had made, Neo, and I and I quote, you said this: "You like yourself over anybody with practice besides Justin. Anybody. That is disrespectful for you to feel like you could fuck with Sanford Kelly or IFC Apes with practice. I can guarantee you will never beat them in a long. And that's not Apes talk. I'm saying that." You can practice or you will never beat them in a long set. You are no you are nowhere near in their league. You are nowhere near their caliber of player. You are solid at best. I take nothing away from you. You're a very competent player, very patient, very smart. I take nothing away from you. Not at all. But to think to 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 watch your gameplay and understand your gameplay and feel that you're in their caliber of player, you're, you you must be smoking something. You're sitting there making comments about Eric talking about, oh, he has to pick the gun. He's not going to be Pause that, pause that, pause that. That's another thing I want to touch on. If you actually claim that you're one of the top echelon players, don't ever on camera say that, oh, 
they can't beat me in a Santhrax mirror. That's why they have to be capable. First of all, for you to even consider yourself a top eight player, bro, there's no excuses. 100%, there's no excuses, all right? You can't just sit there and be like, yeah, and put and put an actual OS on yourself, talking about, yeah, I could beat them in a Santhrax mirror, but if they pick Cable, I'm fucked, or some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't throw that excuse out there. See, you already lost respect for me off rip off of that. You know what I'm saying? You know how much bullshit I've dealt with MSP, man? From trap teams to people running away from me for 99 seconds. I had no excuse. I just found answers. You know what I'm saying? For you to even have an excuse talking about, oh, if they guys, if these guys won't dare pick a Santhrax on me. This is in the third. Yeah, you sound shook. You sound a little bit shook. You know what I'm saying? And, when, and, and, and that doesn't show me that you're actually that confident as one of those, quote unquote, top eight echelon players exactly like, you know and, and, and it's nothing wrong with admitting you have trouble against something but when you start talking about you're this good and you're that good and, and you're this but yet you're worried about somebody picking the team you, you can't do both man you can't you can't have the opposite select on deck you can't do both you were ducking eric for a long time making a whole lot of excuses and it took for him to finally call you a hard body in front of the public world for you to realize okay you know what he's not going nowhere i gotta i gotta take this guy and listen, you know I mean? and th and this is another thing that that not necessarily that it irks me, but I'm just there like, man, you're just talking about like out for one tournament, like kind of thing. He claimed that he's the best Santhrax because I mean I guess he's played other Santhraxes or whatever the case is, but he's beaten Sanford and uh, uh, Caesar's beating. So Caesar's beating redemption, he beat right. whatever the case is. Uh, but then after that, he just I guess he had that cojon saying he's the best Santhrax in the world. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and one thing that he keeps bigging up, and this is no disrespect to finesse. You know what I'm saying? He keeps bigging and up talking about, yeah, if it's arcade, I don't think nobody could beat this guy. That just lets me know that you wasn't part of one of the strongest scenes of Marvel. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And this is not even to take away anything from Finesse, but bro, and this is no disrespect to you, Neo, or Finesse, but you guys are just another Santhrax player. You know what I mean? There's nothing different. You just fly around, cold cap. There's nothing that actually shows that you have something different. You just, and then you're talking about fundamentals, all right? There's not much fundamentals of just running away and then waiting for the assist to call first and then just float in the air to wait till somebody gets impatient. You just a short, short landing attack, good game, peace out, run away. Yeah, that's a fundamental aspect, but don't sit there and act like that is the, the base of the fundamentals of the game. Right. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's not even to be cocky, because look, I always respect confidence. You know what I'm saying? But don't 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 talk about shit that you don't really know about, man. You never played at the highest level, man. You really didn't. You know what I'm saying? And your your track record shows that. You feel me? Your track record shows that. And again, you my boy, 100 grand. But if you're going to sit there and, you know what I'm saying, talk about me and Sanford, you know what I'm saying, well, hell, I'm going to talk about you, man. And I'm going to keep it a buck of what, what I've seen. Because listen, I've been here since 2003, late 2003. And I popped late 2004. You know what I'm saying? So one thing that Neo claims is that he's like the fastest rising player and he's basing this off of that record Sh say the names again say the names again so we have west blockable laser and mind you i'm not shitting on none of these players you know what i'm saying and this got nothing to do with me you know what i mean but let's be serious here uh black wand clock okay clock no, no the notable yep dexterous g-con chaos and he he beat desmond um at um but he don't count that as a as a high stake, so it doesn't it doesn't go to his record. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that yeah that shouldn't count, right, Neil? Because it's not it's not a high six match. It wasn't. It, a, count, it wasn't the first to fifteen, right? He beat him, no doubt. I was there. I commentated the match. He yeah, beat him. Me too. Yeah. He beat him. That's not a takeaway from he that. He beat him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But let's be serious here, man. And against G-Con, he took the wild break. He was getting cooked by G-Con and took a thirty minute break mid set. Like who does that? Well, to quote Gutex, we're gonna put an asterisk on that one. Hell yeah. That's 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 what Gutex said. I, and, I guess he said it in a trolley manner, but you know. And 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 he's been he's been uh denying the run back from G Concepts ever since. G Con been trying to see this man for a couple years now. Okay. And so, he's and he's been declining the run back. So yeah, you know, just 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 throwing that out there. Like if if you're really actually gonna speak facts, then really speak realistic about the facts. You know what I mean? There's nobody in that name that that, that in that list that made me go, oh shit, he beat that guy. Like, ain't nobody, nobody on that list. And this and, and my boys is on that list. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you that. You know what I'm saying? My homies is on there. That I trained with. And I'm telling you that. Just to keep it realistic. Exactly. So uh, yeah. Yep. So I mean, just I just want the people to know the truth. 
because what Neo talks out there is not the truth. It's he's like in his own world. You know what I mean? Like he he likes to like try to fabricate uh, where he really is on this on this. So he he's not on this all time list. How can you be on this all time list? You know what I mean? You it, it's not possible for you to be there. You're not better than Ken either. You're nowhere near as good as Ken, and Ken is not on this list because he wasn't part of that. So that's disrespectful to the pioneers of this game that put in that work and that show, showed and proved what they've done throughout the years and, and how, how innovative they've been and how they kept up with the times and, and, and really set the tone. You know what I mean? So, like, it's like, yo, pay homage. You know, you, you all right, but you're not, you not on no greatest of all time. That's, you, you are literally shitting on their legacy and what they've done in the past. And then just to touch up on that, you know what I'm saying? He really goes by this undefeated streak. But like I said, you ain't really called nobody out. And apparently, me and Sanford on gods or whatever the case is, mind you, I hate that title. Just to throw that out there, Chris, you can attest to this. Yep. I always hated when people called me titans and gods. I hated that shit since day one. He can attest to that. Yep. Because I do truly believe with good practice and good knowledge of the game, well, in this case, in Marvel 2, you just got to be there to get that experience. Let me, first and foremost, you just can't just hop up, go to YouTube, look at some videos, and you go be somebody. No fucking way. You know what I'm saying? That's just not going to happen. But for you to sit there and talk about, you know, you had a, a lucrative career and you belong in the top eight, you know what I'm saying? You ain't called nobody out. And, and you know what's crazy? I, I figured you would call Sanford out than anybody else because apparently you are the better Santhrax player, so I feel like I figured you would call him. Sanford's called me out several times. He declines. I think I figured he would call him, and I know he's confident with me because apparently he's a Santhrax player, and, and and I am the MSP player, right? Mm -hmm. That he feels, you know, what I'm saying that he could be any Magneto, I guess. Because right. mind you, I've had my ordeals with Neo. I, I played him in a team tournament. Right. I could lose, bro. Let me tell you something. I lost to a guy named Ten, bro. And that's no disrespect to Ten, but he had a Santhrax and he beat me. You know what I'm saying? He beat me. He actually beat me in a tournament setting. And I had to come all the way back. That was Evo 2009. I lost my first round, came all the way back, and I got third. You know what I'm saying? But that just goes to show you, bro, that not you're, you're not special, B. You know what I'm saying? Not even to be disrespectful. It's just, it is what not. it is. You know? And this ain't even a talk cocky. It's just being realistic. Mm -hmm. You never call me out for some big money. Listen, the only people that has called me out to play me in a serious set is Ken, even though I got my issues with him. At least I know he got cojones to call me. Uh, Duck, I've been settled something to talk to him to play on the side because everybody's trying to make a big fiasco about it. But me and Duck talk on the side all the time, and we're just gonna play and have some fun with Marvel. And I'm like one of the only guys that played besides Ken when the game was in its prime that I've actually played Justin Wong in a high stakes money match. Facts. And that's facts. The footage ain't even out yet. But just long story short, I lost. You know what I'm saying? How much money was up in there? Like six grand? Yeah. Six grand, seven grand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I accepted that challenge. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So if you're gonna talk, if you're gonna talk big about a big about this record, there's no disrespect to any of those players there. None of those players in that list is fucking with me, period. Facts. Nobody on that list is fucking with Sanford neither. Facts. So if you really wanna challenge yourself and you feel like the cojones, because I know you are you a lawyer now and you got you got things um planned out that you gotta get your grown man on. I understand. But if you really wanna solidify that, call one of us out, man. And we will gladly put up some big money. But besides that, you know what? En enjoy your Marvel. You know what I'm saying? I know you came late in the game. You got potential, for sure. You definitely got potential. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're just another Sandrax player. And I hope that I hope that don't sting. I just hope that you really wake up and really look at the facts. Because mm -hmm. you are a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Like I said, Neo is no beef. I it's understand. No beef. You can have you can you can say you can feel you like yourself or anybody, whatever. But bottom of line is to put yourself top eight on the greatest of all time, I feel is a huge slap in the face and disrespect to the players who actually deserve to be on that list. Not by opinion, but facts. And your little buddy fanatic. Oh about yeah, the bonus. Talk about, but, but talk about fanatic. Oh my gosh, this 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 man had the the audacity to say he was six on that list. The the guy who uses button maps uses a one button dash, plays MSP with a one button dash. Like how how do you? What type of dignity do you have as a player? Do you respect your game? A one button dash, the very essence of playing Magneto on MSP. 
and which which really shows how how good someone is you're cheating to achieve that i don't i don't give a damn what assistant calls you you're dashing with one button you know I'm what sorry, i mean I'm <laughs> like like come on now come on son you are dashing with one button and i fuck with fanatic that's my homie too that's my homie too i fuck with fanatic but uh, come on, son. you know, when I'm in the background looking at what's being spoken about, I'm just there like, damn, like this. I know their egos is through the roof. And now, what, mind, what makes him think he he's sixth on that? Like, what? Now, mind you, look again. I'm not cocky at all. It's just the results and what I've done literally speaks for itself. I literally don't have to sit here and talk about it. Sanford too, Duck too. Yeah. Hell, David Lee, yes. Voltron, Josh Desmond, Eric. There has been shit done. Chunk Schmidt. Chunk Schmidt, yeah. Shit's been done. There's other players out there. You know what I'm saying? Did, like, Neo, no. Fanatic, no. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. Like, <laughs> Look what? at these dudes in the back. Like, man, I don't know what's going on. But damn, it's this crazy. shit got to be a little personal. Here. That's like that's like John Starks talking about your mic. I'm part of that Mount Rush, but what? What? Who are you? You got pretty good runaway. I'll give you that. Sheesh. You got pretty good runaway. I'll give you that. But now, um, yeah. So let me touch up on this one button dash thing. Cause look, I don't even want to be dramatic, but I'm just being realistic here. Do you know how long it took for me to get my hands situated with that game? Hell, if I keep playing the game, if I keep playing the game at the level that I am now, I'm gonna catch carpal tunnel. It's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I've worked hard for mines, and to see a guy do it with one finger, you know what I mean? Everybody got his preference, but 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 shit, like, damn, to, to, to put yourself on number six? And he's dashing with one button. And mind you, I don't take away from nobody's hunger, but don't sit there and say that you better than anybody else. If you out there cracking heads for money, that's fine. I respect the hustle. You know how that roll. You know what I mean? We from Chinatown Fair. We know how the hustle look like when it comes to Marvel and money matches. Those type of money matches been done before. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the fact that you actually discrediting a lot of players and knowing that you was doing that, I might as well tattoo an asterisk on your forehead, dog. Facts. If that's exactly what we're going to talk about. And 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 I quote, when he played, when Fnatic played you a top eight, he used stick. And his, he said, he said, I'm going to use felt, stick. He I'm going to do that, that out of respect. Facts. Why would you feel you need to use stick out of respect? Because you know what you was doing was fraudulent. You know you a fraud. He said, I'm going to use stick out of respect. So you mean to tell me, do we really want to respect any of Fanatic's wins with that one button dash? If he got the top eight and even felt guilty, decided to use stick? Let's get serious here now. Come on now. I mean, at the end of the day, man. But you know what? You know, Marvel 2 is shout, an old man's shout game. Shout out to Desmond for putting a foot in his ass with an OBD. And Desmond wasn't even playing at his best. That's I know, yo, I was disgusted by that gameplay that he bought. Bro, Desmond beat me in the first 10. That was the best I've ever seen Desmond play in his life against me. You know what I'm saying? I thought, and that's what settled first. Yo, I'm thinking, I'm like, yo, Desmond, yo, we got to prepare properly. He got a one-button dash. He's going to be whizzing around. He's going to study the game tapes. My man came with the shit. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the shit. I'm talking about the shit. The oh, uh, what the fuck the, was that uh. shit? Right, that that one. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. And by the way, Desmond did not decline a rematch either. Shout out to Neo though. Decline a rematch with people like G Con and everybody. Desmond said he will whoop his ass anytime, anywhere, for nothing. Gave him the extended handshake. We call that the bottle of gentlemen's. What's that? Oh, the the, the look away the. Get you a bottle of gentlemen's. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the bottle of gentlemen's. Yes. I guess. <laughs> My man was on his feet, hand extended. But like I said, like, like we were saying uh, before, this is no beef to nobody. This is all video games at the end of the day. Because I'm only saying that because people actually do get emotional. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Neo, I actually would have respected your opinion on your topic. Because I was watching. I was watching that podcast with you and Gutex on Cross Counter. I was watching. I was listening. Like, man, this guy got a, a solid opinion. But then he started hitting the OS's. Yeah, they pick cable. You know what I'm saying? And this is in the third. That's when 
it went down. It, my opinion went down the toilet from there. Now, now I have to hit you with facts. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like little things like that. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, like, no hate. Like I said, Neil's my dude. If, if I'm not with my road dog, I'd love to commentate every C2 with Neil or anything like that all the way. Fanatic, you a cool dude, too. You know what I mean? I'm, I fucks with you. And I mean, no beef for none of y'all. But I just had to set the people straight because we can't let you roll around talking this blasphemy shit and we don't set the record straight. And then you you know we was going to clap back because I don't even know why y'all thought y'all could say some crazy shit like and that. Yo, man, big shout out to you Gutex, I mean? man. Paul Gutex, he ain't know the history of the game. So yeah, no, all he, he could do, he could just all he could do, yeah, all he could do is ask questions. And hear the so big, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big shout out you know to Gutex, you know what I'm saying? For this, you know what I mean? He had the good questions, though. The good, He had them going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he had them going. Like, he had them going. Good shit. Good shit to Ryan, man. He, that man knows what he's doing. But, you know, I, I just want to say shout out to the... To the to the to the real goats of the game, shout out to Justin Wong, IFC X, hundred percent, Sanford Kelly, Duck Doe, Rotron, Chunkster, Chris Schmidt, Josh Wigfall, Desmond Pinkney, David Lee. Um, I know I was, I'm missing some one other person. Oh, um, Smooth Viper. You know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to you guys because you guys were definitely dominant in your times. You know what I mean? So shout out to you guys. Y'all put in that work. Y'all record speaks for itself. Can't nobody ever take nothing away from you guys. Neil, I take nothing away from anything you've done. But I take I I, I discredit anything that you feel you are above any of them. You're not. You are who you are, and that's fine. You know, there's there's nothing wrong with who you are. You are who you are though. But don't ever think that you're anywhere near the people that I just I just mentioned. And 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 in my opinion, Ken is Ken is probably like right up there with Justin Yipes, Sanford, and, and Duck, but he is not on that list because he was not relevant during during that time. But pound for pound, yeah, I put him there, but he is not on that list. So it, it's not like I'm singling you out. I'm spitting straight facts. But what do I know? I'm not a lawyer, right? I, I can't have all the facts. I guess we don't we we don't got the facts, man. At the end of the day, yeah, he got them all. I mean, I guess from so we what was it? We was in two thousand three to two to now, mm -hmm. and he's uh, two thousand nine to two thousand ten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that so in that span of time, two thousand nine, two thousand ten, Neil, that was amazing. You, greatest of all time, two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Wow. Well, he ain't say he was the greatest. He's like he's one of the greatest. Yeah, he's so one of the greatest. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Holy shit. Wow. That's amazing. And you know, who knows? Listen, because we, we always talk about theory. We theory fight all the time. We're like, yo, who knows? You know, with all this information now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there could have been another another one of those players that mm -hmm. probably would have been smoking me, Justin Sanford. Who knows? Who knows? But I do know is that you got to be there because there's no footage in the world that could get you prepared for a game like that. Let me tell you that right now. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with the subject. Yeah. You done? You cool? Yeah, you know, just like like I said, shout out to um, uh, Battle for the East coming October 6th, that uh. weekend. Showboat, Atlantic, Atlantic City, City right? New Atlantic Jersey. City? Yes, MVC2 will be there. So I do invite all players. Shout out to the you know the players of Super Arcade, everybody that's still playing the game. You know what I mean? Uh, there's going to be Dragon Ball, Street Fighter V, Soul Calibur, uh, MK11. You know, ev everything that's popping, pop bonuses, everything is going to be a terrific event. Atlantic City, you know, you got the boardwalk. It's always something to do. I I'm thinking that's going to be one of the best tournaments. You know what I mean? And uh, don't forget the 22nd, uh, Chris Major Rising Stars Challenge, MVC2, coming at you, NLBC. All right? But um, listen, this is no frills. Facts. Road dogs here. So is, do we conclude episode one? This is it? Oh, yeah. All right, so look. So there's going to be more. There's definitely going to be more. And guys, just be on the lookout. There's going to be a lot of stuff so you guys can get involved with us so you can ask questions. So please be on the lookout. This is No Frills, episode one and counting. Yeah, and listen, guys, we love to hear from you guys. So you already know how to contact. Hit us on Twitter. Any ideas, anything y'all want to talk let them know, about. Let them know, you know what's your Twitter. Let them know what's your Twitter. Chris Matrix 303. You know what I mean? Hit me. Let me know how y'all feeling. Talk to me. Open, you know, I, I always interact with you guys. So, you know, just talk to you. Let me know what y'all want. Let let me know what y'all want to talk about. Let me know if y'all want me to mention anything. And, you know, we will keep it going from there. But, you know, you're definitely going to be seeing a lot more of us. The Road Dogs finally with the podcast. We give the people what they want. You know what I mean? We provide that good entertainment for the FGC. And who better to do it than two the uh, of the most 
grass-rooted dudes and realest dudes in the FGC. I was going to cut you off, but you know what? You finished it, right? But yo, nah, real rap, it. though. For me, just IFC Yipes everything, literally. Your favorite cookbook, IFC Yipes, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch.tv, everything is IFC Yipes. All IFC Yipes everything. So you already know what time it is. But this is it. We're going to conclude the first episode. See you on the next one. Peace, y'all.